Yo, yo, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, do? Welcome to the Ball Hawk Show podcast. I'm your host, Amar Hawk. It's appreciate you for tuning in today on this Monday. It's April Fool's Day, and it's not an April Fool's joke. We're really live right now. We're streaming Facebook, uh, X app, YouTube. So, yeah, we here. As always, episode is sponsored by Aber Insurance. Go to Aber Insurance for all your insurance needs. That's home, business, auto, life insurance, the great people at Able. There you go. Check out the banner right there. Ableinsurance.net, man. Home, business, auto, and life insurance, man. Um, got a got a good show for y'all today, man. Women's basketball is at the forefront tonight on a Monday night. Is Monday night raw on? Because the game's at seven and nine. This competing with Monday Night Raw. Y'all better watch this and tape Monday Night Raw. Cause these games, yeah, give it up for the ladies, man. I'm excited about the ladies, Elite Eight. I was like, this is the Final Four, but then I realized, like, NC State and uh, and South Carolina went yesterday. Shout out to my dog, Kevin Leatherwood, who went to Charlottesville High School, assistant coach on the women's staff for NC State. Um, so they already punched their ticket to the Final Four. South Carolina been winning all year long, haven't lost a single game. Um, they beat uh, Oregon State 70-58. to and then NC State beat number one Texas 76 to 66. So at 7 p.m., we got Iowa versus LSU, a rematch from last year's national championship. And we know the narrative. Angel Reese versus Kaitlyn Clark. We know what is about to go down. You remember this? You can't see me and ring me. All that. We got a rematch. We here. And then at 9 o'clock, you got USC versus UConn. You got Juju and you got Miss Paige Buckets herself back from the ACL injury. Uh, you know, so it's going to be a fun game, man. Um, the link is in the description on Facebook. If you are on YouTube, just holler at me in the comments section. If you on the X app, holler at me in the tweet. If you want to join the show live and share your thoughts on who will punch their ticket to the final four. Because the two teams that went tonight playing each other. When's it? Well, do they got when the game's going to be? Will it be Sunday then? Because the men play, I want to say the men play Saturday. Let me check right quick. See what the men's, yeah, yeah, the men's play Saturday. The finals four for them is Saturday. So the women should play what, Sunday, right? So, yeah, man. Um, Other news. NFL draft process still taking place. You got personal pro days and workouts and things of that nature. Uh, my bad. I was I was reading responses and stuff. But, um, oh, I know the NFL news I want to talk about. What's the rookie receiver for the Chiefs, man, that's supposed to be part of like a hit and run or something? I know that's what I want to talk about. Saying he fl he fled the scene, uh, Rache Rice, fled a crash scene. So, um, yeah, apparently he being looked for right now. Breaking Chief Star rookie wide receiver Rache Rice could face up to 20 years in prison following his hit and run and flee from local authorities. Under Texas law, third degree felony if the accident results in injury, but no serious bodily harm, I mean bodily injury penalties can include up to 10 years in prison and fines up to $10,000. Second degree felony if the accident resulted in serious bodily injury penalties can include up to 20 years in prison, fines up to $10,000. So, yeah. That's, that's serious right there, man. So hopefully, man, you get that worked out. Definitely get that worked out. Um, we also had Today, and it's not April Fools, it was it was a death um, for the NFL community. Former NFL cornerback Vontae Davis was found dead at his residence in South Florida. Davey police confirmed he was 35 years old. Um, officer was called to the resident by the house assistant who found the homeowner deceased. We can confirm that a deceased individual is Vontae Davis, age 35. Preliminary information suggests that foul play is not involved. Y'all remember, um, Vontae was 
the DB that retired at halftime that, that everybody like, you know, was was having jokes and stuff like that. So rest in peace, Devontae Davis. That's Vernon Davis' brother, right? That went to Maryland to tight end. If I'm not mistaken, that is his brother. So R.I.P. Devontae Davis, man. Uh, boxing took place this past weekend. Roly Romero got beat down by a pit bull cruise and had a concussion. Like this, like I ain't got my shades, but I'm about to petty halt. Like Roly Romero is the ultimate hustler when it comes to selling pay per view boxing matches, man. We all know he's a novice. Like if you watch him fight, you see. He just, he, he basically like a sideshow. That's just what he is. He's a sideshow. He had a belt. Um, he really lost to the old dude before this fight took place. And he somehow won. Um, you remember Tank Davis knocked him out. But Tank did say he punched hard. But uh, yeah, man, Roley is just a guy who could sell a fight. He literally sells a fight. He's a, like, he's a funny troll. Like him and, like, Roley Romero... And Ryan Garcia need to fight each other. I bet you do crazy numbers. It watch. It'll sell. Pay per view numbers would be crazy with those two. Stop me when I'm lying. You know everybody named Mama will want to watch them two fight because somebody getting knocked out. Now don't get me wrong. Ryan Garcia probably box circles around Roley, but Roley gonna end up landing a punch. And how would Ryan respond to getting punched in the face hard? So, um, I think the fight, wasn't the fight with, uh, Ryan Garcia fight my man, Devin Haney, who I'm a fan of, fight him soon. Let me verify when that date is. I think that's coming up in the next week or so. I want to see that fight. They've been doing a good job. I know Devin Haney and this camp been doing a good job of, um, releasing those YouTube videos about, um, the lead up to this fight. It's almost like, um, you know, a little Showtime at HBO 24-7s and all that. So I'm interested to see how Devin and Ryan play out. Uh, when is that fight? The 20th, April 20th. And I know Ryan been going through some things. And let me cut this back, this background graphic out. Like, hey man, can anybody tell me how to get this this fuzziness off? Is it is it because it's a shadow behind me? I think it's because the shadow, man. I gotta update my lights. I don't be liking how that be looking, so I'm about to take the background off, man. I'm about to take that off. There we go. There we go. I'm taking that off. There we go. Yeah, cause I don't like seeing like squiggly lines and stuff like that. But yeah, I think it's the shadow right there on my green. You see the shadow right right here. That's what comes from, like, the shadow. So, I got to get the shadow removed. So. Uh, but, yeah, man, let's get back to the women's game, man. The women's game. Uh, so, we know the uh, storyline between Caitlyn and Reese. Like, they actually don't hate each other. The fan bases hate each other. The The media narratives are different when it comes to both women. Uh, you know, both leaders of their team. LSU has the better overall team as far as, like, I guess, recognizable names and talent that the everyday casual fan can identify with, with Flo, um, the left-hand shorty that came from, um, that, that transferred from Louisville that used to train with Kobe Bryant, Van, uh, I forgot her last, but, you know, you know who I'm talking about. She was on the same USA team with Paige and Caitlin and, UVA's own Sam Brunel was also on that USAT. You know, that's a little nugget right there. But everybody going to have their eyes on just the interactions, the temperament, how both females respond to adversity during this game. Uh, we know Caitlin going to be shooting from any and everywhere. Got the ultimate green light. Who got more of a green light in your opinion? Caitlin Clark or Juju Walker? Because both of them take and up was at 25 shots a game. I might need to look up and see who take more shots a game. Let me see how many shots Caitlin take a game, man. It's not a shot at Caitlin because she got to take the shots. You know what I'm saying? She's a bucket getter. But how many shots do she average a game? Let's see. 
for the season, she averaged 22 and a half shots per game. Her last five games, she's taken 22, 22, 19, 29, 19. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. She shot 59% versus Colorado, 36% versus West Virginia, 42% versus Holy Cross. So what's the over-under for Caitlin shot attempts this game? Yeah, I think. See, that's why it is. That damn shadow right there. I got to get rid of this shadow. That's what we causing, like, the, you know, for the joint to do like this behind me. Um, she going to have to take a lot of shots, huh? What y'all think? Who they gonna who they gonna put on her? Who gonna check her? Are you gonna play boxing one? Huh? You gonna have flow on her so she could rap in her ear while she checking her? Cause you ain't gonna you're not gonna shut Caitlyn down. I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen. You ain't gonna shut Caitlyn down. You better hope to frustrate her. Like. Should you just make her a primary facilitator and like try to trap her and then force her to pass to somebody else? For the season, she averaged 31. Um, the second leader score averaged 14. Hannah S. And then Kate Martin averaged 12.8. So, so she averaged 22 shots a game. The next person, Kate Martin, second on attempts, averaged nine shots a game. It's a lot of that's that's a big discrepancy. But hey. It worked for him. You got a bucket getter. Now let's see how many shots Juju averaged. So Caitlin averaged 22 and a half. Let's see what Juju averaged, man. Juju, what you how many shots you take? A game. And Drum roll, she averaged 22.4. So they averaged about the same amount of shots. She shoot 40% from the field. I think Caitlin is more efficient, right? We know Caitlin take more threes for the season. I forgot to see what Caitlin shot for the season. Caitlin shot 46% from the field. Because Caitlin averaged like 13 three point attempts a game. So for her to still shoot 46. Yeah, she shoot 13.6 three-pointers a game, shooting 37% from three. Damn. That's letting it fly. I mean, for her to shoot that many threes and shooting close to 47% on 22 shot attempts, that's good. That's actually good. How many threes a game Juju take? I think Juju more of like DeMar DeRozan, you know, mid-range game. She takes six, shooting 31%. Averaging seven rebounds, three assists. Both were first team All Americans. Everybody in that photo behind me was first team All Americans except uh, Reese. Did y'all have an issue with that? That Reese wasn't first team? Because the first teamers was. That's not picture was the female from Stanford, the lady, the girl from Stanford, and who else? Oh, Shorty from Notre Dame. They had to take her nose ring out yesterday. What are y'all thoughts about that, man? So all season long, she's a true freshman. Um, she's been playing with that nose ring, and yesterday. She was told that she had to take it out. So it took them four minutes game time to take it out. Not yesterday. When did they lose? Friday? Friday. It was Friday night. They lost to Oregon State. And she struggled from the field. Um, Hidalgo. Yeah, Hannah Hidalgo. Yeah, so she had to get her nose ring taken out. And, like, does she have a, like, I know it's, it is a rule, right, that she got to take her nose ring out, but if everybody, like, why did everybody, oh, what up, Zara, why did everybody allow, why did all the refs all year allow the nose ring to take place? A, second of all, 
What made these referees finally say you can't play with the nose ring? That's all I want to know. I mean, if it's a rule, it's a rule. Take the damn nose ring out. Like, you know it's a rule. Like, it ain't, it's one of the things, I'm going to get you in. It's one of the things where you know you're wrong, but why are you arguing? The excuse was they wanted to have a good look for the Sweet 16. They didn't, yeah, they didn't enforce all your, all right, Edward. So, a good look, what does that mean? Not to you, Edward. I'm just saying to their excuse. I'm not questioning you, Edward. Salute to you for that, bro. Appreciate you. Yeah, what's up, like, the good look stuff? And then they went into the second quarter. Exactly. So, you done seen this shorty, oh, like, that, she, that was her Samson. Is that why she was trash can juice shooting from the field? She was 4-17. As like, soon as they took the nose ring out, she couldn't make a shot no more. Respectfully. I'm not joking. Her. She was All-American. First team All-American as a true freshman. Yeah. I just think Oregon State had too much size on the inside. Uh, but let me get Zara. Hey, Zara, you got plastic on your mic. What's that? What's that? Saran wrap on your mic. What you got on there? It ain't working, but I'm I'm gonna bring you up here. We know it ain't working. How you doing, brother? I'm doing well, brother. What you got, the Deion Sanders uh neck 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 man on? Oh no, I was fishing today, man. It was hot. You know, you can't look. You know, with your light skin or brown skin, you know, you gotta protect your neck and all that. You know, you just, you just gotta protect your skin, man. You know, what took I'm saying? took them forever to take it out, but she had to sit out longer because her nose was bleeding. Dang! So it's been that long since she took that nose ring out. Hey, man. My man, what up, Bird? He said, LSU, Iowa gonna, game gonna be epic, but I think Iowa came out. I think Iowa come out on top and you come. So you got to interrupt and you real quick, man. You can't interrupt me because I won't keep talking, but I'm going to let you speak, yeah. though, brother. Look, check this out, man. I got an issue. Though. I got a bone to pick with you. I've been waiting for this. This is like Eddie Murphy coming to America in the bathroom incident. Oh, my God. It is you. I am a royal citizen of Zamunda. This is the greatest day of my life. And I get to address you with it. Now, I know that you... You on your real game. You got your clicks up and all that. But the speaks on the game tonight. I'm going to hit it. I'm going to put the rubber to the road, bro. What's up with you cheerleading and pom pom like T.O. after scoring a touchdown about old girls and Angel Reese and all the energy she gets? Versus what's the, what's the white girl named Caitlin? Caitlin Clark. Yeah, what's up, man? You, I don't like the way you did that, bro. And I'm gonna explain why. You my guy, <laughs> 50, 100 grand, fifty grand, and all. Hey, that. we did not rehearse this, but I knew this is what he was gonna do because you know this this is this is his lane. He likes to yeah, create these Yo, WWE I'm, I'm storylines. I'm on the run like Diddy right now. I'm on the run like Diddy. I'm, you see me in the mansion. I'm on the run. So, okay, so why is it, like, when you post these videos and they show Caitlin Clark or whatever her name is, mm -hmm. she's talking smack, you know, some of the stuff is kind of rambunctious. Why do we show the energy for that? Like, like why? But like, that's like the stuff, like, you, you posted, that's the stuff that we don't see, that they don't want you to see. Mm-hmm. And we got Andrew Reese. She throwing up gang signs and talking about busting a cap on somebody. And I'm mm. sure. see, say that. Mm. But we, see, we, you we, even you even fed into it. Cause see how you describe both. Now look, but but here's here. Okay, wait a minute. Look, I got my Wakanda water, Hawaiian. Water. All right, let me get down to the nitty gritty. To your pe the peanut gallery that supports you. That claps it up every time you say something. This is for them. So this is a shot at me now. No, no, it's a shot at your supporters. Why are you going at my supporters? Huh? Because I can't go with you. I don't have the heart to go with you yet. You trying I'm to? Like, you trying to? So, so let me get this straight before you keep going. You trying to imply that I'm trying to cause division by the way that I? Um, yes. I um, not promote, but you post. I post. Yeah. You pulling both. a czar. You pulling a czar. 
Mm -mm. Yeah, you are. I know. You, you know what? I, no, no, no. Here's what I do. I share both of them, and I show you how America views both of them. It's simple. America okay. views them. They do. So here's the thing. Both women. Now, Reese goes a little bit further because Reese will get physical about and she'll pull hair and elbow. But I'm just saying, I shared when Reese flopped and took and got the girl fouled out, how it was perceived that Reese was doing the waving, like over dramatic doing the waving, like in her face. The girl was over at the court and Reese was like this. She wait like the first of all, the whole bench did by. Reese ain't say bye in her face. Reese ain't even disrespect her in that moment. But Bro. how is how is how it's um illustrated and shared with the public, he's gonna be the villain. She is, she's the villain in this robbery. She's vil she's vilified, yeah. You got Zeke and then you got Magic. Oh, you got Zeke and then you got Jordan. Zeke was the villain. You got it. so Reese is the villain in this narrative. Okay. Are you ready for this? Yes, sir. All right. I, like I said, this ain't a shot at you. Not yet. This is a shot at your supporters the underneath. Okay. The totem pole. How come we're talking about, like, and I, and I said it on your post, man. Like, okay. So when, what's the white girl's name? Uh, hey, who is, who is the, ba hey, 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 brother. I see you just did this back to back. You you want me to get my shades, don't you? You want me to get Ooh. my petty hawk on on you. The, the uh, la, la, I don't know. Laguna, yeah, I see it. <laughs> he hey, they really going crazy on UVA basketball. How's how's Virginia fraudulent basket? Anyway, keep going. They, they are, they are. I mean, they're not, but Virginia's not. Oh, Willie, what's good? Thing. Virginia's not who we want to see because we're y'all 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 like Princeton. Y'all mucked the game. No damn offense. No, Virginia like the UVA? Spurs. Virginia's like the Spurs when 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 Pop mm. was coaching Tim Duncan. No. And Manu. Yes, he yes, like he, what? Y'all like Princeton mixed with the Pistons. Ain't no damn offense. The game's gonna be 30-69, bro. It's an ugly ass game. But I gotta appreciate <laughs> the defensive effort from the Hoos. When you play the Hoos, it's gonna be ugly. Hold on. So you should be a fan. I, I am. Think I about think about how you your think about your perception of how basketball they don't play no defense they don't they don't uh, check nobody full court. Virginia do all those things and look at you. Had an office though. <laughs> but you always talk about defense is a lost art. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Defense is a lost art. I have you can't have it both ways. And their defensive effort, but y'all got to score the ball, bro. All this. Well, the 2019 team didn't have an issue scoring. Oh no no no! That that team was good. Yeah, these teams right y'all like Princeton running the wheel, man. This this is ugly, bro. You gotta yeah. run it like that. I mean, Virginia don't have, and they this don't not have a knock on them. There's not a knock on any of the players. Yeah, skill wise, they can't run up and down the court with what they have on the roster. It's like Princeton. Yeah, I know. So it's like UNLV playing Yale, you got to run your offense and play deep. You cannot get in the running game with with cats. I get it, bro. So that isn't that amazing how they don't have all these five stars and people all these five stars still be losing to them. But the teams that don't got five stars are the teams that beat UVA. When when UVA play UVA rosters, they lose. Yeah, I mean, put it like this: y'all are a throwback. It's ugly basketball, but it's effective. It's effective. I yeah, he do it. They do it on purpose. I know, I, bro. I know they're playing to their strength. Yeah, I'd absolutely. Team, I'd rather have a team in UVA tournament time to play in the tourney than play, let's say, like a Duke. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, Duke, Duke is Duke, but Duke can be tripped up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All the five stars, all the All-Americans, and they just lay a damn egg in the in the, in the Sweet 16. But UVA, it's one thing you you there's always going to show up is the defense. Yeah. It's one thing I'm going to say they – Regardless, so, it's gonna be the defense. So let's go back. Shout yeah, out to yeah. la, la, what is it, Lebanon? Yeah. La, Lebanon? Nah, Lebanon. Shout out to you for veering us off to UVA. Let's get back to Reese and Caitlin okay. and so, how he, this guy, is making it about race right now, but he don't want to no, say no, it. No, no, look, 
all, especially all my African American friends, who that white girl thinks she is. He that white girl, thought, can hoop. huh? She can hoop. She can hoop. Yeah, it's give a girl credit. Both of the girls can hoop, but we change. We we racially divide this down the middle in some houses. And the problem I have is just like what I'm gonna give you two spectrums. This is like the white boy or the white girl that walks into the hood and got to get the credit from the bros, from the from the urban community. We all know just like just like when you the Tussler League, right? You see a couple of white guys, you're looking at them, and they got to give you the sauce for the respect. Like, okay, he can hoop. You know how many times these Caucasian players have walked into an urban community or an urban gym? And they told him, you ain't nothing. You're not going to be nothing. Just like Matt McClung on the mixtape. Matt McClung went on the mixtape circuit. High school, even the coaches said, oh, this this ain't this ain't so-and-so. Oh, oh the, the Georgetown. You're not, we, we're going to make sure you don't go to Georgetown. You know what I'm saying? And that, 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 that spices things up. So when we get the, the end of result of a Caitlin Clark or Matt McClung, dunking on the brothers and saucing it up, everybody that's black going to get mad. Why? That's like Tiger Woods walks into the golf course. Man, don't do that, bro. Oh, keep going, because I'm glad Tiger you went there. Tiger Woods walks into the, the PGA. Yes. Tearing the ass up. And, uh -huh. and then, look, and then, and then they want to give them collard greens and fried chicken. All right. Fried. All right. So, so, not yeah. to stop you, but what is what are you what did you just illustrate? It's not a it's not that black people do it, it's people of different races. Yeah, people, are gonna, people race, when you yeah. when you see an outlier in a sense, you're amazed, correct? Yeah. So it's not, it's just you're amazed. That's all it is. It's like it's like your boy Lewis driving the cars. For the black dude, yeah. I'm still amazed. I'm like, just like Bubba driving NASCAR. You're amazed. Just like Cole Beck for Virginia Tech. They're running running the 60 and the 100 meters really fast. Yeah. Hello. Just well, like the little Chinese dude that run really fast in the 100. You're like, whoa, where did that come from? But hey, that's not the way your post came across, though. A black pole voter. What would you say? Whoa. I don't know about that. I see a black, black fencer. What would you say? Whoa. I see black fencers. Now, a black swimmer. Oh, thank you. Black a black swimmer. swimmer. Oh, that brother can fly. Okay. He's swimming. Go clear. You know, just perspective, bro. That's it. Yeah. We look at things when we don't. It's not the norm. It's not the That's norm. That's it. It's not the norm. Yep. But when it comes to now, let's get back to Caitlin and Reese. Let's go ahead and bring it all the way back. Yep. Here's the re it ain't the people that's dividing. It's how it's packaged to us. When Caitlin, when I showed that video of Caitlin saying filth, farm, farm, filth, and slamming the ball, nobody got an issue with it because she's competing. That's right. But we know certain black players can't do that same type of thing because they're not allowed. They're, they're going to be seen as a thug. Or all these crazy they're words. Be be done around. They'll be, yeah, they're going to be called a villain. Like, it's like a guy, an individual today said, I don't want to see these women, they divas, because they have timber tantrums and they bitch. And he ain't say this, but I just how I proceeded. They bitch when things don't go their way. And I said to myself, bro, the people we consider goats, they have tantrums on the court. They slam the ball. They get in the ref's face. They won't shake hands. They do the same thing we see these women do. But we let it slide because they so, because they first of all, because they're a man. Second of all, because they good. Like, Dre, y'all been letting Draymond get away with all this punching people in the face and kicking them in the nuts for years. Now that he trash can juice, in a sense, y'all now mad at him. And I've been holding him accountable for years, saying, Draymond, nah, man, you're you can't be kicking hater. people in the nuts. You're, you're the Draymond hater. Of the I'm not yeah, a Draymond yeah. hater, because I always said, if I had to pick, I would, I would really want Draymond on my team, because I know what he brings to the table. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've always said that. So I can't be a hater if I want Draymond on my team. Okay. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you, man. Who's that? Hold on. So Godfriend said Jordan had rules changed because he
he went to Stern and, and cried about it. Mm, well, how old are you here we go. Here? How we get to Jordan? I'm just be a LeBron you. lover. I'm not. How we get to Jordan? I'm, I want to hear this. I'm not a. I'm not a LeBron lover. I'm far from it. I'm a Lakers fan, sir. First and foremost, Nick Van Exel is my LeBron. favorite. Nick, Nick Van Exel is my favorite player of all time. Who? My favorite. Nick Nick, Nick the Quick. Nick the Quick. Okay, since it's like you like Mitch right. Richmond. Okay, he was okay. Please. Um. A lot of reason, let's let's be for real. Jordan Jordan went to, uh, went to Stern. I believe that was the after the '90 season or 89, 90 season and, and went and cried about how physical they were being. Come on now. He Jordan, cried about it? They was more yeah, physical what? what? He, they, nah, they, they, Jordan went to the they, Jordan went to the commissioner and said, hey, they're playing me too rough. And that's why rules started getting changed. Wait, all right. So I'll give you that, right? So let me ask you this as my response. Was Jordan lying? No, he wasn't. Oh. I, was I, it basketball? I, were they playing basketball? Uh, to a sense, to a degree, they were playing the basketball that was allowed for that time. Were they playing basketball? We all like we all laugh and joke say the eighties was basically football on the hardwood. It was brutal. But that, but that, but that's why I said that was allowed for that time, for that time, for that particular time. Um, but I also get why Stern did it because he had to. He realized that he had to protect his protect the investment. Jordan was the Jordan was the money was the money man for for the NBA at that time, so he had to protect his investment. So I'm not mad at him. I just so, I just gave an example. Can, can I rebuttal that? Yeah, go ahead. So you kind of losing me, Godfaring, because even though they did lighten up on him, the shit was still physical. The shit was you had the Knicks beating them down, you had the Sixers beating them down. The whole East Coast, it was, East, it was, East Conference was a beatdown. It, right? it was, it was really Detroit that he was taught that he was complaining about. That when, when Detroit employed the, the the Jordan rule, the bounty, the the bounty base, they were still getting them. Detroit, Detroit not, got not, old. But that's but that's when with that but that's basically who he was going after with them with them uh, with with in regards to it, it was too it was too physical for him. That's what it, that's what it was in regards to. It was in regards to the to Detroit. So, I mean, yeah, yeah like like Real Spill said, and Detroit was literally knocking Jordan upside. The head. <laughs> <laughs> they, <laughs> they were beating the shit out of Mike, <laughs> bro. But, but did um, they play any? Like you think about it, bro. Besides Mike, and a, and 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 they would do Larry like that every now and then too. They, they but they. They did the Lakers like that when they played them in the finals. They they did they did them they did them that way too. They ain't doing like Mike, bro. They ain't doing like Mike, but they did they did uh Magic. So they so in other words we could other words we could say they really won't keep in the same energy. Yes, they no. can no, we just can we can we just say Mike trained his body, got a little bit more physical, and I mean more the, I mean going to Stern helped him, helped there. also you know going to Stern helped also. Yeah. Yeah, he did. That's all I said. Stern, Stern helped him out a little bit. Oh my I know, God. Zoh, I know you I don't want to leave that Zoh. All right, so let me get this. <laughs> let me get this straight, God friend, because we're gonna keep pushing back because it's Michael Jordan. Um, if I know if me if if me so you and Zar like you on my team, right? And Zar is checking you, and Zar is not playing basketball. He's playing really physical, but in your mind is not basketball. If you let him know, like, yo, you. Follow me. That's not basketball. You need to relax. If he say stop bitching to you, is he right? I mean, like I said, if it's in with the, if it's not being called the way that I feel it should be called, listen. listen. What you gonna do about it though? Yeah, are you? Is he? Are you? If he say stop bitching, is he tell, like? Are you bitching or are you just First making all, it known that that's not basketball? I'm letting it be known the moment you said that we swinging. No, 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 no! Stop, stop, stop! I don't know. I'm not talking about no, you, like you, you, you taking this. <laughs> you didn't ask me what I would do. So. No, no, no! I guess all right. My bad. I did. In other words, in other words, just just like in a verbal discussion, if he's playing you too closely, he's really hacking you. He playing like like like. Concrete jungle rules, and you like, yo, that ain't basketball. You just smack me in my face, and he like, man, stop bitching. So like, and you know that's not right basketball, now? but we keeping it verbal. If he say stop bitching, 
are you going to agree with him that you're bitching or are you going to agree to him that, yo, you really doing non-basketball stuff to me? I mean, I'm going to still keep saying, hey, bro, you're not playing basketball. So is Can Mike really, well, so did Mike really bitch the stern or did he just point out that's not basketball fouling that they doing? A little bit of both. Okay. See, I like you, God, friend. Because you know where I was going. I Because you make a good point. I just wanted to clarify for the audience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I knew exactly where you were going. Yeah, I didn't want to like, try to try to shut you down like Mike nah. ain't. Be, like, you go to somebody, it is affecting you a little bit if you got to go talk to the commission. Don't get me wrong. Listen, but, man, this is, this is all in conversation. I'm not taking nothing personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, ain't, we ain't doing that. This ain't LeBron versus yeah. Jordan right now. Go ahead, Zar. Oh, I, I just want people, people to know if y'all can't tell that mic is not on. That shit is a prop. Go ahead. First of all, I'm recording. I'm recording. Okay. I got my MP podcast thing recording. You want to see it lit up and recording? Hey, when can I when can I join the show, man, for a recorded session? Bro, I look, I, we're we're down right now. Uh we got some things to figure out because we gotta figure out which direction we want to go in. Oh, okay. So it's gonna be put like this. By the time the NFL season kicks off. We'll be back up. We 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 trying to get John Henderson and Donovan Darius. Uh, and we got a little pop barbershop podcast coming up. Oh, that's so I got dope. a lot of stuff happening. So so you doing more video? You want to do more video stuff coming up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the okay. pod, with the podcast in it. So yeah, you know, I keep you okay. abreast on it, man. You know, All what right. I'm but go ahead. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, mean, I mean, throw you off. Get back in your bag. I do got. I do got a question for you, God fearing. So you and you said not physical or anything like that. So. If we if it's the playoffs and I'm jabbing at you and I'm doing all this to you, you're gonna turn around and say, Hey, that's not basketball you're playing, or you're gonna show me something. I ain't saying throw no fist, but that's what makes Michael Jordan so great. Michael Jordan would get fucked, excuse my language, fucked up, but he would go over and through the opponent to score. I mean, that's but you just gave me the the that, instead of Superman, you gave me the Clark Kent. You better uh, stop really. touching me. I mean, what, what's up? What's up, man? Oh, well, it's, so that's why I said Jordan did a little bit of both when he went to Commissioner Stark, because that's what he did. But at the same time, he did he did end up he did end up getting a little bit stronger in the sense that he put a little bit more weight on him from, okay. from the time he got in from the time he got in the league to to up to about ninety 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 one. Um, but yeah, I mean, of course, I'm a I'm a if you, you if can you hold your be, if, yeah, if you're gonna be physical with me and ain't nothing okay. getting called, then I have to I have an understanding that all right, I just gotta go right back at you in the same manner until until the rest decide, all right, all right, y'all doing a little bit too much. That's what I wanted to hear. I thought you was bitching up. I'm like, nah, what the, man, I, that's nah. what it sounded like. <laughs> nah. Nah. Hey, so um <laughs> uh damn, I was thinking about something, man. I want to ask y'all. And, and as far hold on, before you think, do that, as far as the Caitlyn and and Angel thing, Angel been doing that since the, the, the Angel talking. She's been doing that since high school. That's well documented. She's been doing that since high school. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the thing is, people want her to change how who she is, and that's just not gonna happen. Mm-hmm. So it's like if, if you've been doing, if you've been talking trash since high school, I'm not gonna expect you to change in college just because you're mm-hmm. in college. Just be that's the whole point. I think and I think that's what Kim uh loves about Angel is that she's herself. So and why do you feel like the the consumers and the fans want don't allow women to talk trash and show emotion while playing uh, sports? I it's guess they feel it is in the game. Oh man, See, like hey, I'm I'm glad I asked that. Go ahead, Zar. I'm, I'm gonna say this, bro. Like women, I, I and this is this goes for outside of basketball too. The feminism of 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 women and women's sports is going out the window. It is. I don't like to see it. The like, feminism. I, I, you could talk. You could talk a little bit, but like all the stuff that the guys do. I know we live in an equal world. You the wise. What's good? But all that yin and the yang. I, we don't want to see that, man. I don't want to because they that. women. Yeah, act like a woman, like just. Whoa, to what? Be, Whoa, time yeah. out. Hold on, man. You, sports. yo, they're you know, I sense. just finished watching on Amazon Prime. What? Um, a league of their own. 
the series. Remember the movie with Madonna and all them playing baseball, yeah. some damn dresses on because they wanted them to look like women. There's no crying in oh, baseball. Yeah, I wait, like wait, women. Wait, 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 wait. So I'm gonna go even deeper. I'm gonna be like said, take my red and blue pill here. The reason why I don't like it individually, first of all, it it, it almost turns into like to one of them AAU games where the crowds involved, the emotions run high. The benches are clearing, just like the South Carolina dude, that uh, the, the the dad or the brother who jumped in the that game. Was, that LSU, was, that was LSU, that was Man, Flo's brother. That, that was Flo's brother. The, yeah, that's the energy we don't need, bro. Especially that's him though. In any game. Yeah, we don't need that energy, but she didn't cause that. He did that on his own. I, but but that's what I'm saying. The the feminism of the game is going away. I'm not saying they got to play soft, but all the extra. Yippity yap and all they're that. They're competing, bro. That. So you're so as a man, you're allowed to be macho and boisterous and tough, but a female always got to be meek and no, respectful. The dudes don't even do that. The they say they don't. Wait, wait, yes, wait. No, what I'm saying. Wait, wait, wait. The oh, stuff I like that's going this. On, the stuff that's going on in the women's game between Reese and all that, uh -huh. you don't see that much prime time in the men's game. Oh, okay. They talk like I know this dude's when dude get fouled, he'll go to the free throw line. Just like NBA, you'll have a conversation with the opponent, like, yeah, you can't F with me. I got 23 mm -hmm. on you. But all that extra, all that extra color. So we don't so we don't see uh oh I got, I got uh -oh. a call, my bad. So all we don't so we don't, so we don't see women. men doing doing handshakes in the past three years. It's been one each year. Fights happening. Say, say it one more time, bro. So in the men's game, at the conclusion of men's games, we haven't seen fightings doing the doing the shake hand line, the handshake line. Uh, no, we we seen nobody get punched in the face or swung on, huh? I think I saw it once, but see, that's oh. that's what I'm talking about, bro. Like, I'm trying to get rid. Of, I, I would like to see the men's game get rid of that. The whole the whole sports arena is getting like that. All it's, this it's extra comp non morning energy. It's competition and emotion, bro. Like, there's nothing. For, sometimes you can't. Sometimes, even though you 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 would expect something for that not to happen, but mm -hmm. sometimes your emotions you get so built up, and depending on how the game, the flow of the game goes. Like, if the game is physical and they ain't calling no fouls and you and Dove and John the whole game, it's, it's yeah. But, but God fearing. So the, the, so. I'll, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll say this because I saw this. Luca did this the other night against the Kings. This man looked back at Vladi Divac and said, "You should have drafted me." Now he's talking shit to the GM to to the, to the GM for the Sacramento Kings, talking about you should have drafted me. They fucked up. They should have drafted me. They didn't draft me. So, dude, it's, it 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 happens, bro. It happens. It, it's gonna happen. Like if, if 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 I'm balling out, if I'm dropping forty on you, if I'm dropping 22, 32 on, thirty seven on you in the first half, yeah, I got every right to talk shit to you, and, oh. and I'm gonna talk shit the whole the entire second half as I drop fifty two on you. That's what I'm gonna do. Well, that, that's a problem, bro, because the, this generation doesn't know how to doesn't know how to celebrate an accomplishment. They get what? lost in the moment. Yeah, bro, just check it out, man. Everywhere from high school on up to college. I saw a dude get dunked on, right? Dude took the charge. Dude dunked on him. D dude slid underneath the basket. The offensive player went out of his way to overstep this man and put his nuts in his face while he was down on the ground. Nah, B, th th that's what I'm talking about. You know what you're done because I got a rebuttal for that. Okay, one. and also, and like I said, I'm on my said, I'm, I'm taking my said pill here. We got dudes calling women bruh do you see what i'm saying the, the 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 feminism of the whole thing is just leaving out of, out of here bro you know what i'm talking about Amar? you know what i'm talking about you got women calling each other bruh y'all laughing but that's contributing to the, the hey man men call each other the b word <laughs> Like what no, are we? Doing? No, you, you you missing the point, bro. You missing the point. I'm not right? missing the point. What's okay, the point? Well, I saw. I heard. I right, look. Okay. So when a couple, this is all. This is some other shit. When a couple gets into an argument, the new, the newer generation, you got dude calling his woman, bruh. What you doing, bruh? You don't Yo. call no woman no bruh. That's what I'm what, talking about. What are you talking about, Zara? 
I just said we want the women. I want the women to be women. They are. My, right? Hold on. Let me let me respond to something yeah, about the yeah, celebrating. Okay. okay um, so hold on. Hold on. Let me respond funny, to something. It's about to oh. celebrate, going out your way to celebrate. I could give you, okay. I give you three examples, right? All right. Iconic dunk, Pippen on Ewan. Did Pippen go out his way to yes. celebrate over Ewan? Yes. Okay, so it just didn't start with this generation, right? No, 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 no. That that was one. That's the only one we've seen. Pippen, hold on, that's the only hold one. on, hold on. Wait, wait, brother, you talking too fast? You might want to listen. Um, Sean when not even Sean Kim because that. Remember that one? No, man, come on, man. No, <laughs> no. So oh, I, give you, I give you one. Hold on, I give you one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, I give you one even better that's way iconic and the funniest thing ever because we all yeah. laugh at this one. Shaq. Shaq on Chris Dudley. You want to know <laughs> why he, he did that? When he had pinpoint accuracy and threw the ball at Shaq after his ass got pushed into the goddamn stand. You know why he, you know, you know why he, you, 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 I can't talk. <laughs> you want to know why Shaq did that? Because he was under him. No, it stemmed from a previous game. No, Shaq said it because Chris Dudley was under him and he had to push him out the way. But it was from uh, a previous, bro. Shaq, it was from a previous first game. Of all, first of all, watching that play, Dudley fouled Shaq like twenty times just on that spin before he even dunked the ball, and then and then was holding on to Shaq when Shaq was coming down, and that's why that's why he pushed. Hey, John Miller, appreciate you, bro. Bless you too, man. I get, I get you saying God, God fearing, but no, you don't. The <laughs> celebration of today's athlete, they can't, they can't celebrate the moment in peace. What? They can't. Yes, why, they why? can. The, no, they game can. Is, the game, the game is full of emotions. Or I'm not celebrating. If my, if I see my team, yeah, I'm gonna celebrate, bro. I'm a, I'm a Billy White shoes, I'm, you I'm, dog. I'm, I'm gonna be up I'm there doing, doing, doing my dance. dance. You got dunked we, on, whatever the case may be. That's cool. We remember, get that. Remember, look, Mary Lane Johnson way, did this when he scored. If you go out of your way to physically get in somebody's face, come on, man. Michael Jordan did that to the Knicks every time he dunked on one of them. That's a prof ah. that's professional. That's professional. Doesn't matter. What? It doesn't it, matter. It does matter. Okay, so let me ask you this. So you said it's okay because it's professional. Wait a minute. Did you get clear to come on? So when you, was, when, you, when you was in Virginia and you used to go to the park and play basketball and you used to get – used to, we'll, we'll, we're going to go by the lies that you say. You used to be dropping, dropping jumpers on people and stuff like – you mean to tell me when you got hot, you weren't talking noise? No, I just said, look, this is what I did. When I started hitting the threes, I go, you know, Miller, it's Miller time. Bam. That's it. You would say that? Yeah, Miller. But, but you're not a professional. Why you gotta say it? Why you gotta say it? That's my way. That's my way of saying, hey. But why are you going out you your way to say it? Huh? Why are you going out your way to say it? Because it's better than saying, bitch, I'm on your ass. <laughs> and then you want to fight. I don't okay. do that, bro, because I already know the energy. Say but again. you're not a professional. What? Say it you're again, those are. It's better than saying what? Say it again. Bitch, I'm on your ass. <laughs> 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 it's better than saying that. Hold on, man. Hey, hold on, Zah. You gotta do it one more. Do it one more time for me. What bitch, are you gonna say? I'm on your ass. Hold on, hold on. Ready and go. Bitch, I'm on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> but no, my hey, hey, Amar. Just like with me, that story about me and Vic playing at, at, at the middle school, at the elementary school. I'm dropping dimes on them dudes, and I could have said. Bitch, I'm on your ass. Vic was already a volcano ready to explode because we beat his ass. Man, me, hey, I don't let me, me get Vic in here, huh? bro. Don't let me saying? get Vic in here. Jordan, he'll tell you about the story. All right, I am about to page him right Jordan, now. Game point. Page him. Now, if I would have said, nah, keep talking. I'm going to let him know. We would have probably had a fucking problem. That's my <laughs> way of saying I got you, but I'm still being respectful about it. That's all. <laughs> That's it, man. But Back to what I was saying, Mike. Let me ask you a question. Your your is it Tara or Ta Tara? Right, Ta Tara. Yeah. Who? Have you ever called Tara, bruh? Nah. Okay. How do you feel about today's couples when you see them arguing or you see something going on, just random talk? A woman, a, a man, will call his his woman, bruh. What are you doing? I automatically chalk it up to that's how the younger generation goes. Like, for instance, um, yeah. but it has nothing to do with me, but, you know, my daughter, 
she knows like, hey, you can call your little male friends, bro, whatever like that. Like, or if I tell you to do something, you say, she knows, it. okay, that ain't gonna fly with my dad. But yeah, what you do with your the, your peers, go ahead. I don't really care. As long yeah. as you know what to call me. <laughs> so I ain't got no problem. Okay, so when we have these women. Hold on, Zara. Before you answer this, look at my man Jatan said. Salute to Jatan. He said, femininity and feminism are two different things. Did he say Xfinity? <laughs> Femininity is not even a word, but go ahead, bro. No, he said said Xfinity. That's cable, man. (laughs) I got Xfinity, but you said shout out to Xfinity. They they need to find the Wi Fi. But you said femininity yourself. No, I did. I didn't say femininity, bro. I said, I I said, okay. I said just the feminine trait. I just think the way the world is moving now, Uh uh, I just think we need to kind of scale it back a little bit because when you have a, a female that's used to calling, bruh, overly aggressive. It's cool or whatever. But when it comes to sports, that emotion bubbles over and it's a bad look. So you saying when a female call a man, bruh? Yeah. It's a, All it's right. Whole, so it's so here's the thing. Y'all be, so do you say anything to men, excuse my language, people, that call other men bitches? A hey, bitch. Bitch in word. Bitch. A hey, bitch. Listen, I ain't never bitch. heard another man call another man bitch, but, you know. I I've never. Oh, hold on, man. We've been around said on stream. Said to be like, listen here, bitch. Quick to somebody. Yeah, man, that's 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 that's. But that's guy talk. Hey, speaking we're of guy talk, we look. Speaking of guy talk, I told you, different. like Candyman, you said his name three times. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're looked at a little bit different. That's all I'm saying. Don't bro. smile. Don't smile on Kiki now. What you say? What you said? Yeah, bro, women. No, say what you said about if you talk trash to Vic. Oh, what? that's Vic right. What's going on, brother? <laughs> <laughs> now, look, I'm not trying to hijack this live. No, nah, don't Stephen A. Smith him right now. Get right to the unpleasant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. First of all, I want to say the I like the plaques in the back in the backdrop, brother. That's a, that's a good look. No, nah, I don't listen to that. Oh, <laughs> he tried to butter him up. Now, Vic, wait, no, 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 no. Don't interrupt. Now, Vic, we going we gonna compare some stuff. Me and you met on the on the court one time. At Barron Elementary, right? No, you out here. You out here. Shut your soft soft, soft walking this. Yeah. He'll get your ass. Now, look. I When we defeated Vic and them, he was hot. Now, instead of me saying to Vic, bitch, in the game, bitch, I'm on your ass. <laughs> I was like, yo, bam, bam. I said, kick it, tango, get y'all next year. That's when he really popped. Okay. So, let me be okay. honest. Let me honest, let me be honest about something. If I would have said, if I would have called you a bitch during the game or game point, what would have happened? I mean, that ain't nothing. I mean, first of all, that's a when you say that, especially I was with Joe and all them because I was with yeah, that's what I was with the goons. Yeah, I probably we it would have been a confrontation. But here's the thing. Hold up, if you remember that correctly, what triggered me was. Because that's my senior year. We lost to Kick in football and basketball. Yeah. What triggered me was when you said, you 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 waited till y'all won the game, and we were going to, you know, come on. Hey, fellas, Mike, y'all know how you play pickup, and you go to grab your water, your towel, and you wipe it. Yeah. The, the next team got next. He started mouthing off. And he was like, yeah, yeah, just like we're going to get y'all again in football. He started talking real crazy. So, you know, at that time, I'm, you know, I'm getting ready to go off to college. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, what the I'm like, yo, what the f-? And I ran over, and they were like, yo, chill, 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 chill. They grabbed me. That's what happened. So, yeah. And now, if you had called, yeah, see, look, yeah, that's what happened. Now, if you had called me out my name, being from Shell Road and all that, that happened all the time. Like, I wouldn't have, I would have been mad, but I would have, I would have probably clapped back at you. My first yeah. instant ain't to fight. But the, but the goon, bro, it wasn't you, it was the goon. That oh, whole- no. Don't hold that whole situation, bro. I'm looking like. I, so, I had some. I had, wait, some, wait. I, had some, I had some. I had some hitters with me. I, yeah, Noel that's what I'm saying. I, I, I had some people real talk. If we being honest, we I can say this now. I had a couple of people. Hawk, you know, you you play with a lot of these guys. I had some guys that had the, the strap in the bag, but I never looked at Zar. I knew who Zar was. He was an up and coming dude, but he was talking real. He was talking okay. real big after the game was. You know. Like Joey said, anybody can talk at the game point, but you won't talk and all that during the game. 
Hey, so wait, I want to I want to know when you charged over there, what was his reaction? He just was looking and laughing. He was talking and laughing. He was laughing. Yeah, bro, I'm a, you know everybody knew I'm a comedian, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Mike, Mike, he was trolling me, and I usually don't respond to that, but he kept. He knew what he was doing. He knew who I was. I knew who he was, and he was like, "What triggered me was the football." Because when you were senior, you can't get that lick back. Yes, yeah, you know what I'm exactly. saying. You can't, you yeah. can't. So I'm just like, man, oh, for real. You know what I'm saying? But it's never been. It's never been nothing where I wanted to see him again and circle the yeah. block. But it was still. He was talking, re- and that's what he was probably really out of pocket back then. He was. Zaw was talking real crazy because I remember that we were over at the everybody was played over there. You know, back back then, Hampton and Newport News, you went anywhere to find a court to hoop. Yeah. And, um, I did have some guys that were with me that probably few of them did some time. <laughs> yeah, they took me out, bro. They took me out, no problem. That's why I was like, oh shit. <laughs> but, hey, it's all love, bro. It's all love, bro. Yeah, he waited to game point. I remember that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he probably took joy. Seeing me get out of pocket, that's probably what got him going. Because usually I don't do all that, whatever. I'm usually laid back, whatever. I, you know, I talk, but I, yeah, yeah. So that memory still. Uh, uh, hey, hey, yeah. and, he, and he had the Hampton High shorts on. That's how I knew. I said, "Motherfucker, play for Hampton." Motherfucker had the crab and shit on. I said, "Look at these motherfuckers, man." <laughs> <laughs> he must have been feeling good because I think we was in kick and tan zone. I think we was over there, Baron. Where we at? Yeah, Barron? we was off of Mercury, off of Fox Hill. You was over yeah. there by the tan, yeah. Over there with uh, my, my, my yeah, over there in the kicker tan area. Yeah, man. yeah. We used to go over there all the time. Yeah, I, man. I was, yeah. and we got in the car though. They were like, "Yo, man, we, you know, like, you young and stupid." We in the car, like, "Man, fuck him. We gonna get." And I was like, "Russ, whatever, man. We, we took the L." <laughs> <laughs> but, that, but but that's see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, you people, we like. People can't control themselves now. Like the emotions, I'm not saying everybody is. It's certain. It's, it's just like certain, certain uh, circumstances. Like when we see on the court, we see the overreaction. I know it's the TV and shit like that, but like I just feel today, everything is is is, is, is it has a, a magnifying glass on it. Yeah, and people How it's covered. Real, people pop off like more than eat like real easy now. But you know? but but I think I think to some degree it's unfair because like back in 2019 2020 I had Hawk on my pod I had him and Marcus Hagens on and then Hagens jumped off he was coaching at UV at the time and Ahmad opened up to me about and I've known Ahmad forever like we played together played against each other UVA Tech I never knew the story he opened up about some stuff he was dealing with with Curry and some and and, and stuff like that. And uh, Marseille Brown did the same thing when he jumped on my joint. And I, w- and I started to realize, like, the guys and women playing now, they are growing up right in front of us, but we did the same thing, but we didn't have social media. So every exactly. mistake, every exactly. mistake, every That's mistake. I remember one time in the All-Star game, we playing Aaron Brooks. I'm playing with Aaron Brooks. We're playing um, the West and Point Dex out there killing them. And I had gotten beat in the gap, whatever. And um, I threw my helmet down. And Coach Smith came over there and cussed me and the coaches out. Never have I had that happen. But if that was on TV, it was on TV, but if that was social media, yeah. I would have been labeled a hothead. Like, you, all, me, all of us, Mike, we were never forced to grow up in front of social media. So every mistake I made was a magnified. Yeah, um, that's a good point. You know what I'm saying? Like, imagine, like, some of the stuff you said to Kurt Newsom when you got mad or something got out and reports were that, you were doing this. You're already labeled unfairly where, you know, these guys playing now, like, like look at LSU in South Carolina. I was talking about this last night to my son. I said, I respect y'all generation a lot more because I'm realizing y'all have to be perfect when you can't be perfect because everything you get picked up on the mic, every time out, they flash to your parents, they flash to you and you're forced to be perfect when that's not, I mean, that's not right. That's unfair. <laughs> I, I, I agree with that because uh, the stuff with with the trash talking with Angel Reese and I mean, or I'm not even just saying Angel Reese, just with the women's basketball. I'm like, I hate it because I'm like, they're not allowing these people to be basketball players. And I'm like, and the people who are not allowing them are the people 
who were they were on the court and you said a little bit of trash talk to them and their whole life was just crash because you, you said, I don't like that. I'm like, I wish they wouldn't watch the game, you know, because I'm all for Angel talking to us. I'm all for the girl from South Carolina when they was talking to us. I'm like, dude, that's a part of the game. The, the best sports is, I tell people a lot, I said, sports is more mental than it is physical. I said, because you got some dudes who got all the physical tools that can't think. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? I said, so when you get a person not who got all the tools, but they can't think, they now just became one of the worst people on the court. Yeah. No. Go ahead, Seth. What else, Seth? Yeah, I disagree with that one, Mike. That's cool. It, it, it's not the fact that they're not letting them be basketball players. It's the – it's more about gender roles. A lot of people in, in society, not our society – but all over the world, view women as quiet. Yeah. They view women as quiet. And a lot of people are not used to actually seeing females trash talk. Bizarre. Yeah. I'm not. That's the problem. You said, keep going, brother. Oh, yeah, I agree. It's, it's not them letting them be basketball players. It's the, the gender role. That's what it is. Yeah. I, I'm yeah not, I, I, I agree. I don't like that because I'm like – it's like they want to see a bunch of church girls run up and down the court, <laughs> and you know, right, hey, now, 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 put the shoe on the other foot. Just imagine men's sports without trash talk. It'd be, it'd be, trash, it'd be weird. <laughs> it'd be boring. Exactly. It'd be very weird. All I'm saying is, what are you saying, though? You got to clean the game up, man. Clean it up. Clean the no, game. Clean up. What? Okay. So wait. Okay. When is the last time we saw someone's family member jump? Out on the table. Hey, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho. I got this, Mike. Hold on, Mike. Oh, I got this. I got okay. this. Just last year, we saw a prominent daddy go at a prominent sports head that got his own show. Huh? Who? John Morant's daddy about to fight Shannon Sharp. Uh-huh. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. You I'm ask, talking you about. Ask, no, you, you asked. I'm, ta- ask I'm talking about a family member. Jumping on the court that oh. has a family member that plays. Oh, on the jumping team. on the court. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me tell you something. Hold on. Let me tell you something, Zar, because I'm glad you brought this point up. The the person who allowed it, which was the security guard, he just looked at him. He his ass fired. First of all. <laughs> <laughs> Second of all, the last time we seen somebody try to attempt getting on the NBA court, they got mauled. Y'all remember that? Battles yeah. of the Palace. Yeah. No. Well, well, I mean, oh, thank you, Zar. Malice mm-hmm. in the Palace is worse than that, right? Yeah. But go ahead, now, Sid. Uh, uh, can you compare that situation to what happened in the NFL this year? That, what happened that in the NFL? No, nah, with that coach that got involved into that bullshit and got the, the security. Court. He's talking, oh. about security. he's talking about the, e- the Eagles. Uh, yeah. yeah. He's talking about the, the Eagles security guy. They, they, so uh, if you go, Zar, if you're going to speak on that, you got to speak on that situation as well, bro. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to speak on I'm gonna speak on that. The, this, this, the Philadelphia security Don, the Don guy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. First of all, that's Philadelphia's fault because he's not even qualified to have that position. I did a background check on him. <laughs> he was a ticket taker. He been there so long. They created a security position. He has no police training, nothing. You trying to tell me that you got this flashlight cop on that's the sideline protecting that's, that's, the Philadelphia Eagles? That, really, that's son? Not, that's not what he's there for. Because the, the way, the, uh, from from my understanding and what I what I look into, uh, he he has a lot of connections that could get a lot of the players out of trouble if they were to or or to help players in certain situations. That's what. That's what. That's what his. That's taking that's his research, Zar. You can't that's, take his head to the research that he. Oh, so, so, so God, I mean, they right. What that got to do with the yeah, sideline? Pretty much. You know, what you what mean? Was girl, what, what, what was the old girl that worked in the White House? The character. <laughs> Who Lewinsky? No, uh, <laughs> Kerry Washington. She played on the show. Oh, oh, oh a scandal. A fixer. That's what basically what he That's is. Pretty right? much. What but he, he still, he still should not be on the sideline. If he's not on the sideline, hold on, Zara, Zara. Zara. If that's a Zara, regular respect, police officer, that is respectfully, happen. Zara, respectfully, speak to what said is saying. If he's considered a fixer, they're going to be on the sideline during the game. I'll fix it at you. I'll fix it at UGA. 
Travel to every game was on the field, on the sideline. Did you did your fixer have security background? Nope. Some of them do. Some of them they don't. Just, Don they didn't. Just, they just gave him that. No, I, I just said no. He didn't have security yeah. background. Okay. I think he worried. You worried about the wrong thing. You you're into a uh, bouncer role from the club when you used to be a no. Bouncer. Yeah, so like, are you trying here's, to make him you? We're, we're, look, y'all. So we never let you on the sideline. The, the Tito, the, the video, you and Tito <laughs> going viral. Let's say you're changing the hotel curtains. Let's stay on task. That mic is not point, on. Stop. The whole point of he's security, right? He's supposed yeah. to be security. Yeah. Hey, why do you keep you, tapping that mic? If you look, <laughs> and getting tired from, from doing this. He has no security experience. Okay. Why are you, why are you tapping that mic? What we talking about? Mine? Hey, yeah. hey, let me let me say something, Zar. He might not have security uh a security background, but he know how to secure bags. How about that? You're mm. right. And that's why his ass got to spin off the damn sideline, the lack of training. Next subject. <laughs> <laughs> Next I mean, subject. Not, not reason, but, okay. I got to say, Azar, Azar, let me, right ass, Azar, I got a question for you. Let me see something. What does this photo say to you? All right. It's going to pop up on the screen. Oh, First thing God. you think of when you see this photo. You ready? I'm glad yep. I said here, too. You ready? Here we go. Mm. What does that mean? <laughs> this, is the, this is the NBA three-point percentage this year for LeBron, Kyrie, Steph Curry, and Klay Thompson. What is What do these numbers say? They're all the same. Who's the best shooter in this photo? Curry. But he got the, the third photo? best. Percentage. Yeah, but see, the, Curry take yeah, bad shots, man. Take a Curry takes bad shots. Yes, Curry oh, takes bad oh, shots. I want to hear about this, bro. If you look at it, and I'm not trying to be funny. Anytime you dribble up the floor and launch one, and the shit black clanks off the uh, off off the rim, it creates a fast break for another two points the opposite way. It's a bad shot. Well, this league is it's all bad. about Sorry, let me ask you matter. this question. All his three pointers do is energize the team when they go in. All right, let me look. now. You watch Steph Curry, right? Yeah. When is Steph Curry at his best? What What does he do at his what What? what? I said, what is Steph Curry at? <laughs> what the hell? What, 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 when is Steph what, Curry what, at his best? I don't understand the question. When is he at his best? He's yeah, at his best oh, when shoot he's the shooting ball. off the dribble, shooting, shooting the ball off the screen. No, off the dribble, not off the, the dribble, screen, yeah. just off the dribble, period. Yeah. So how how is that a bad shot? Bro, it's a bad shot because them shit them shits don't go in. Bro, you got you hey, wait a minute. There's plenty, there, there's plenty of tape of Curry dribbling down five on five. He launched a goddamn three. Not even let this big man get set up. That's a bad shot. I'm sorry. It's bad. In fact, he's fucked up the rest of the. He's fucked up the U, and the college. <laughs> and so he's not a big influence. He messed up the U. So, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a put it out here like this. I know what Zar's saying. It's going. This going to surprise y'all. Zar's not wrong in the fact that they're bad shots. However, for Curry, they're not. So, like, True. if you when you play basketball, and I'm just speaking from several years of watching my son coaching a handful of years of AU basketball, when you have, like when my son became last two years and when he played on certain AU teams, they'll have certain guys that are featured players or the coaches say, you can take these shots or whatever, whatever. Uh, even back when uh, Hawks' cousin played high school basketball a couple of years at Hampton, Coach Brown, Hall of Fame coach, was like, yo, Mario or certain guys could take mid-range and Damon Bagel could take more shots. They had the green light. So for Curry... To your point, uh, Zaw, they are bad shots, which makes him such a great player, a Hall of Fame guard, one of the best shooters of all time. Because to take those shots and have a great percentage, to have the number of makes he has and to set all the records, he can do that, and he has the authority to. He's got the green light. For another guy that shoots 32% or mm-hmm. someone that doesn't have that role and takes it, it is a bad shot. So I know what you mean, but yeah. for Curry, it's not a bad shot. That's his game. Yeah. No, no. Hold on. Hold on. So. And you can't <laughs> put all the blame on Steph Curry because Steve Kerr is the one that implemented that system for him and Clay. 
I mean, it works for them, but the rest, the rest of the, the rest of the world is suffering. How the re- how is the rest of the they world suffering? Be- yes, Dude, bro. This what are you Curry? Steph Curry is a career forty-two and a half percent three-point shooter. That is not a bad shot for Steph. It, it bro, it's it's okay. We, we, call, it, we call it circum. Hold on, God fair. We call it circumstance. When you when you're on a run, of, let's say you're on a nine-zero run, you jack instead of basically running the floor, going for the eleven straight point, you jack up a goddamn three. The other team gets the fast break. Your ass don't get back on defense. You mad you missed a shot. Now you created another run with a bad shot. It's situational basketball too, bro. That shit creates yeah. bad runs. Mm. It does. Kev, it's called evolution, bro. What do people want to see in the NFL right now? Mm. They want points. One points. game. Mm-hmm. Same thing in the NBA. Why do you think they like the rules over here so they can bring the European? I, I, I get it, bro, but no. Bro, bad the, shot, man. The days of throwing elbows up underneath the rim are gone. We didn't, bro. I was about elbows, to say that, bro, man. Kevin, bad, bro. Kevin wants you. He wants you to throw it into the post and let the guy like Barkley no. back the dude up under the rim, and no, then sure. throw, that's what he wants. He don't it's want the same, bro. It's the same. I, I had to and, and they traveling too. They got a new Euro step. I don't know if y'all seen this. They wanted they they wanted the Europeans here where well, they're here. This new Euro step where they taking five steps and they drop back and shoot, that's a travel. What are we doing? The Euro step, they've been doing the Euro step for. No. Dude, I was they, Euro they stepping when I was there. They got to gather back. Yeah, right so, so, again, so, Zara, so, like, again, I hear what you're saying when you're, you're saying that his style of play has ruined high school, college, and pro. But if you look at it, it's just to, to, to um, say his part, I got to agree because the game has evolved where. You actually have more. You have more kids and players that can shoot the ball, making an emphasis on shooting. And here's the other part. My counter to your your point: if Steph's game was bad and these were bad shots, and attribute to what you're saying, he wouldn't have three championships. Like four. when you have when you have bad habits. Four. So four. My fault. Four. So when you thank you. So when you have um, bad habits on the court, usually you trade a lot or they're trying to refine your game. That's not the case with Steph. And I know what you mean. There's some kids who have bad habits who just take shots in transition. But more people, we're seeing more and more people put an emphasis on shooting the same way, you know, during the Iverson era, you had a lot of people put a lot of emphasis on handle. It just, it's just yeah. a game evolving. I mean, kids, I mean, Caitlin Clark and all these men and women's basketball players, they're I shooting. They're I was going to ask him about uh Caitlin Clark game. Does he like it? Because she is basically the she same. take thirteen threes a game, no, or I more, like or more, or more. <laughs> you know she averaged thirteen. Because I, I, I went, I went over uh, before y'all joined. I compared her and Juju as far as like who take the most shots, and she take twenty two point four, and I think Juju take twenty two point two shots a game, and and thirteen of Caitlin's twenty two are three point attempts. But she still like shoot forty six percent from the field, and I was like, as a coach, you may not. Want her to shoot that much, but if you shooting forty six percent, hey, you like, chop it up. Juju shoot forty okay, percent. So you you missed the days of the of the Pistons and the Knicks throwing down on each other. It ain't no. I, I, I <laughs> yeah, like you're not I getting like, no more eighty nine to eighty two. Yeah, games. yeah, you ain't like getting that. Game, you ain't getting that you don't like this UVA basketball, to... but you want UVA basketball no, scores. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, hey, wait a minute. This goes back to defense. There's no way in the world like the athleticism. That some of the women are not displaying when they when they play Caitlin, it's, it's atrocious. Atrocious, huh? Yeah, she's wait, wait, too slow. You're saying Look, what? She, no, she's too slow to go by anybody. If you notice that, no, who, but who is Caitlin? Mm. Oh, it's snails. No, Caitlin doesn't. She she and she doesn't have a left. That's why she shoots so deep. Also, saying. she's slow, bro. And that's man, she don't got a left. Nah, man. No, it's, you know, it's the same. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. But so, but but yeah, respectfully. But, have you ever chased? Have you ever chased someone coming off curls and pin downs? And I, I, I'm just saying, Zar, for real. I'm not. You know me. I don't do all no, that. No, stuff. no, yeah. I'm saying so. Like again, it's no different from what Reggie Miller and those guys did. Like what yeah. they, did, they evolved. Like I remember my son. Ch- he had to guard a shooter, and he talked about after the game. It was the hardest he had to guard because they never stopped moving. If you watch her game, she uh-huh. never stops moving. That's hard. Versus somebody coming at you, ice on. I can get help. 
from the weak side, I can make you take a bad shot with Caitlin. She never stops moving. You take one second off, she's going to get you off the screen and you're going to hit a shot. And that's the more the shot thing. attempts she gets, the more she makes. That's that's so, the same thing with Steph. Cause Steph's cause that, that's the whole thing with Steph. Steph will go through about Steph, um, Rip Hamilton, Ray Allen, Reggie Miller. All they do is run through run through a whole bunch of screens to tie you out. Cause they tie you out on the defensive end to where you're not effective on the offensive end. And I think that's where that, that helps Caitlin a lot too out yeah. on the defensive side. Because you're too tired to be to exactly be on offense. it's hard. So, yeah. And I was telling the guy, I was telling the guy there about the screens uh, with Caitlin. I said, "Dude, I said you got a thing." I said, "When Caitlin has the ball, the rest of her four teammates' job is to come set screens, <laughs> double screens, things of that nature." I said, "Or if she don't have it, she's running around double screens." I said, "When you got, uh, I said that wears other teams out because all they're thinking about is cover screen, cover screen. Before they know it, the person who done set the screen and flipped to the basket and Caitlin done threw them the ball and they got a wide open layup." But then somebody yeah. just posted uh who was that hog that posted she got the record Durton? got the record for assists too Zarr. yeah she got the record for assists yeah. too she had, she had 15 assists the last game too Zarr. 29 I, I get it but I just I I'm a I'm a prideful defense so she guy. averaged 31 and basically 31 and nine okay like I said if I was we, 31 so her back. career she averaged eight point two assists a game 28.4 points a game she so just like Luca pick her up full court Gotta play games with her. Hey yo, let me. Hey, so I'm glad you brought up. I'm I'm glad you brought up Luca. Um, when you were an elite ball handler, you can't you can't make them uncomfortable. No. Uh, you ever seen guys like you ever seen guys try to pressure uh, Steph Curry? You kind of can't. Yeah, you can. Like you ever seen guys try to pressure Kyrie Irving? Mm. You can't. No, now, you can't Kyrie so, Irving. So, now you can't pressure. So him. here's the thing about Kyrie, and it's kind of mm. crazy because he has a great. Left hand, he's great left handed, and left handers are very hard to guard it, because you don't you don't really know you don't face them all the time. But because yeah. because because the thing that I think Zar, I think you lose sight of, and I and I love the old school idea. Shout out to my dog Tika. The thing about I think you lose sight in because look, and on the premise of I right, guard Luca in full court, right, or guard J Joker full court, you lose sight that what Mike said. A teammate's going to set a screen for them. They're going to set a screen for them. Like it's going to happen, bro. Come on. You know how I feel about Luca. Oh, what I'm telling you, <laughs> but what I'm telling you is uh, that somebody's going like to set dude, a screen. Bro. He is the most unathletic. That's fine. He's leading the NBA in scoring right now. Because so, the NBA so wants is Joker. To score. So so is Joker. But but here we are. And th Luka. That's what I'm saying. Can you imagine? If they let these guys put in the defensive effort and they slide their feet, these two. So what? What was Larry Bird's issue? So, so, so we seen. So we seen hand checking allowed, it's and Larry Bird. Bro. And Larry Bird was still MVP, correct? Mm, is he considered Bird a speed? Different. How is he? Can speed? Is, is he? Fa is he faster than Luca? Yeah. No, they're about the same speed. They're about the same speed. Larry Bird is just like Zach Randolph. He ain't picking his feet up to put his seat back on it. I'm just saying. What I'm saying is this. I'm not dissing Larry. I'm 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 praising him by saying they're not fast, but they still give you top tier buckets. Okay, so Ahmad, let me ask you this: We're not going to go back and forth about the Luca and the you know. You can't. Luca's leading the NBA in scoring. There's nothing you can say. So when why averaging nine assists a game? And now rebounds. Can I talk? Mm. Can I talk? Absolutely. All right. So when the playoffs come and they rush Luca with a, a athletic forward, you can't that do that. Speeds him up. Hold on, hold he on, God friend. He, he, he turns he, the ball over. All right. So same thing with Joker. They turn the ball over. So would you consider Paul George or Kawhi Leonard a fast wing, offensively or defensively? When they play defense, are they very good defenders? Wait, wait, you think they only turn back to you? Hold on, Mike, 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 Mike. Hold on, God, friend and Mike, hold on. When it comes to Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, are they very good defenders? Uh, I would say the claw, yes. Paul George, no. All right. His so, will be getting cooked. So in the playoffs, do you remember when Claw was checking Luka? Yeah. It was it was a tough day for Claw. Yeah, but this is what I'm talking about, bro. I'm not saying superstar for superstar. 
what I'm saying, the defensive game plan, these guys, you got to respect them. But when you're the claw and you're working extra hard on offense, it's going to be tough on defense. On who? For who? On, on the claw. Okay. So have, he got to work. Board. He's working they on both ends. Luca's not working board. on both ends. Okay, Luka that's fine. Lazy. That's Luka fine. Is a defensive liability. That's no, no, no. So that's smart because I'm, I'm gonna do you one. I'm gonna do you one better. Somebody we revere a lot, and once they got a, a guy beside him that could play defense just as good as him, it helped him offensively because you don't want your star exerting a lot of energy offensively True. and defensively. So True. a guy like Michael Jordan, once Scottie Pippen shown he was a good defender, and I know I could rest you on defense now. Is that smart or dumb? Smart. Okay. So if and and. I do got numbers to back up that Luca is a really good defender this year. I got advanced analytics for you. I got data. <laughs> Very tangible, too. You might not like it. Joker as well. I know you don't like yeah, white no, guys. You, no. I know you got an issue with white. So you're the guy oh, oh, that when a white guy comes in and playing defense, you surprise. Well, here, hey, you got to hey, show me. Hey, Cam. <laughs> you got to, the gym, oh, wait, wait, I'm saying, wait a minute. You got to, like I told the white boy the other day, he checking me. I said, man, if you don't get this white boy, I said, what? First of all, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We ain't oh, doing this. I'm not letting you get away with this. God, <laughs> you was in here when he was preaching to me how we as black people got to stop prejudging white <laughs> folks and come on the basketball court or come on the football field and start doing stuff because we just be putting them in the box. And what he do? He just Put them in the box. <laughs> Go I ahead, dog. I threw. I asked him what are those to throw his game off. He was never the same. See, when, I, when I'm on the court and you talk to me, well, I, why I'm are you making you about my, yourself, though? I'm talking to you with my jump shot and my rebound. You don't have a jump shot. All right. Anyway. Am I lying? We saw you shoot a lot, man. Hey, let me make this statement to you, I know, and I know it's going to piss you off. <laughs> Luka is a better player than LeBron right now. Anybody's better than LeBron. I agree. LeBron needs, LeBron needs a year off. We need to retire. Hey, can I just let you know uh, LeBron is now now has the most 30-point games uh, for you, uh, Zar. I know you like that. Well, first of all, 30-point yes, games, don't, those stats don't matter. You, you, you making up these Jordan got one teddy bear, LeBron got two teddy bear. That them stats are non-factors. LeBron got 15 shoelaces. Jordan got two shoelaces. <laughs> no, those are the stats we don't care about. Like I like I said, well, faces. Well, some people need to take the calculator out their ass and look at the goddamn tape. I mean, so some not, people can't look. see good because you know how you look at film is different than somebody else that look at film. We've seen that. Deshaun this is what Watson. Doing. Look, this is what y'all doing. That's all y'all doing trying to compute shit. Look at the damn tape. Look at the tape, and then you look at tape. You look at tape. I mean, I don't, I don't get how. Yeah, you, get how it, you, get him, God, fan. Let him know. You, I don't get how you can sit there and say that Luca is not great when tape shows that he does. A the league a wants thing. him to be great. What? As, no, 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 no. I got the HR. Hey, Hey, I, I, I got, got another one. I got the league. Go ahead, go ahead, God, friend. Cook, so, cook, so it, so cook it's, him. It's the, it's the fact that we're having a conversation about the MVP and Luca is not. The, I mean, even though on certain levels he's number two, he's not liked by the media. How does the how does the league want him to win when the media that dictates what happens in the league, who's the face of the league, doesn't even like him to begin with? He's not. They changed. They changed the rules for him, man. No, they, no, they didn't. Yes, what? They, they changed the rules. What rules did they change? Anytime you got two Europeans walking the ball up the floor, where you can't play no defense, come on, man! You, you seen the All Star? You seen the All Star game? What? Okay, you seen the All Star game? Hey, yo, sorry, hey man. All right, all right, I'm uh, come on, son. So wait, 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 wait. I'm not saying no. Okay, so no, let's, uh, no, no, no. Let's say it, talk, man. Go ahead, go ahead. Nigga, the Kings got some bonus bringing the ball up the court. That's what another doing? problem. He can't handle the ball. So you play Where defense better than try? NBA guys. Huh? <laughs> this, this, it's a but no, me. But, but no, Kev. This, hey, yo, you got Ken on, on, on the X app saying, huh? Yeah, what the hey, hell are you hey, talking hey, about? Ken, this upsets me. What do, you th- what do you think? Well, he of, upset that you confusing him. Who, what do you think of Austin Reeves? 
Uh, is that uh, what's called son? Doc's son, man. Sorry. No, no. I didn't do that. <laughs> Right. He said, "Yeah, to anything, dumbass." I'm about the oh, dude from the Lakers, he, man, the white boy. White boy from the oh, Lakers. He can ball. Okay, okay. You know what? I, I even like, you know I'm a Lakers. He can ball. Man. I can't. I, can't let I you got him, Godfrey. I, I got him. him. I got him. Austin Reeves can I ball. Heard that. I'm on. You heard that, right? You got him, bro. Keep cooking. <laughs> what? I'm done. I'm I, I think over. I'm done. I didn't say he couldn't ball. He can ball. You but but to say that he but to say and I'm a Lakers fan saying this so this is gonna hurt to say that Austin Reeves can ball but Luca can't and I Luka didn't say Luca cannot ball you did you did no 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 I said Luka first is, of all Luca they giving they they giving Luca too much pathway oh shit anytime you let don't ball, Austin Reeves benefit from that pathway ball, that Luca created ball, then? the ball up the yes. floor hell yes. no. Hey yo, I just want to sidebar, sidebar. Hold on, hold on, man, because that mic ain't even on. So stop doing that. So check this out, y'all. Know, hold on, y'all know this. Since we started talking about Luca, one individual ain't said shit. <laughs> he ain't Luca. Look at look at Mike. What's up, Mike? No, I'm I'm, I'm laughing. Come on, nigga. <laughs> no, I, well, actually, I was waiting. Uh, I was like, I wanted to, I wanted to ask him a question. I wanted to ask him a question. Everybody take a look question. at the guy with his arms crossed because he's done like Luca. <laughs> Boy, look at him. Hey, I just had a question. I was like, all right, well, let me let them badger him. And when What's they get question? done. So, question? Right, my, my question goes back to LeBron. This dude, I, I want to know why you said LeBron. Was one he needed to retire? I, I was trying to get back to that. We cut. Well, first of all, we. I, I hope. I hope you got your LeBron Lakers bed sheets and shit changed. You know, from the last time. But uh, LeBron is. is he's either he's either 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 retire or change teams. Point so, why? Okay, so why would he? Why does he need to retire or change teams? Because man, the the, the LeBron effect is done. It's done. Did you ever say Kobe needed to retire? That's Kobe, bro. <laughs> yeah, there's a difference. There's a oh. tier level. There's a tier level of LeBron and Kobe. Don't, don't get me wrong. To, LeBron to, is a great to, guy. To be great family guy, business mogul. Kobe but Kobe is Kobe. Kobe's Kobe not scared to take the last shot. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe didn't jump ship because the, the, the team was sinking. She, okay. Kobe, no, 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 no. Kobe. LeBron got too many jerseys. No, 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 no. So hey, hey, Kobe. Hold on, Kobe wanted to leave LA. I believe that was the 06 of oh between 05 and 07. Kobe was asking for trades because the niggas was garbage. Okay. Or oh, what wasn't that uh Phil Jackson's second tenure? No, that was right that before, was before Jackson, years. God fair. So let me ask you this. How many teams has LeBron played on? It don't matter the team. I'm no, talking no, about no, his no, no. Mike, no, no, Mike, no, no, no. Ahead, answer the question. Mike, go ahead and get in your bed and pull your LeBron LeBron sheets over your head and go ahead and cry. God fearing, how many Please. teams? Hey man, Mike grown dog. Don't talk to him. He got LeBron James bed sheets. He think it bothers me. That don't bother me. He got LeBron bed sheets. Mike got tattoos on his forearms, man. You know he's tough. How many teams has LeBron played for? He played for three franchises. Huh? He played for three franchises. How many teams has Kobe played for? He played for one. All right, there you go right there. Okay, so, but wait. I don't even care about shit. That's, that's, like, that's, like, that's like you going to the park and you playing a pickup game and you say, I'm going to stick with my same four the whole time. I'm going to stick, stick with my same. But y'all keep losing. You say, I'm going to stick with my same four. But my point is, I want to know, how can a person averaging 25 points a game mm. need to retire? I'm like, you might, you're not making that, nobody else better. He's like a Matt, I don't like you know what? Hey, yeah, let me ask you a question, Rich, dog. Rich, 3.0. Let me ask you. A... <laughs> They're gonna miss Rich, Rich shit. Shout out to Tom, yo, cause cause Coach Kim do look like a Chucky doll in the Crib Keeper, though. She she be out there think she's oh, styling man. on them boys. You know what I'm saying? Uh, crazy man. LSU coach man. She is a very good coach though. Very accomplished. So yeah, you know, we just joking. We just ranking a little bit. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Um. Did you see the Mitch Richmond reel that I shared, bro? How he yeah. the art of scoring 20 points, how he broke Five that down? A quarter. Five a quarter. Yes. But that's the thing. LeBron is scoring all these points, but he's not making his team better. He is the hey, Mitch yo, Richmond. 
3.0. Like, and, so my OG T Cuff said you might have just shared the dumbest take ever. <laughs> wow. What, what the, the, the Mitch Richmond? How you average? Yeah, how you averaging twenty five seven and seven and ain't making people better? You're not. Ah. Instead, instead of scoring, you should. If get I'm the getting ball. you, if I'm getting you open, if I if I got over, like averaging seven assists is a lot. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to get him to realize. So, I'm assisting so, you in scoring. How am I not making you better? I'm assisting okay, you. Okay, so okay, so this is a prime example. Shout out to Calvary Elvin, though, 5049 on the verge of doing it again. All these scoring, y'all still losing. You ever think to get the get your other teammates involved? Instead of going for that, that stop it, that pretty Wait. three pointer, get the ball down low, get your big man involved. So get what were you going. saying when Coleman was losing? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Get so what were you saying? That was Mike. Not mine. That was Mike. You might win the game. You might be 15 points less. So Zar, Zar. So here's the here's the thing, Zar. I so I always said <sighs> to your point, right? LeBron got to defer and let guys get buckets. When I'm trolling, I say that. When I'm really talking basketball, I don't. So here's the thing about the LeBron effect that's a gift and the curse. LeBron effect is you always got opportunity to be successful with him on your team, no matter yep. what, even at this age. But the only drawback of LeBron being your teammate is people be in awe of him when he's on the court. Guys don't play their game. And that's why he need to retire. Or no, to it ain't his fault. That's like, what I'm trying to get him when to he realize. Does, like, when, he, when he doesn't play, D'Angelo plays more aggressive. And I'm pretty sure LeBron's like, bro, play aggressive. This is why I always respected Kyrie, because Kyrie was him. No matter who Kyrie around, Kyrie is him. Yeah. You, point. you know what I'm saying? So that 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 boils down to the individual. Like, can he – like? Do we got to hold their hand more? Like I always say, LeBron, get let let your point guard be the point guard. He's done that. I have seen him defer this year and give it to D. Lo. Go do your thing, huh? Yeah. What did he say? Who you going, dog? I gotta get my phone charger, man. Cause I'm about to I'm about to flame y'all real quick. I don't want my phone to die. Make sure you cut your AC on, cause it's hot out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, man? Hey, can we talk about saying, Ramadan, man, Kyrie good. Irving? Can we get Rod, Kyrie Irving his flowers right now? How he's playing efficient basketball right now, and his shoes, his shoes selling, his new signature shoe is selling. What them butter cookies? And he about to, he about to have another 50, 40, 90 season. That's fifty percent from the field, forty percent from three, ninety percent from the free throw line. He real close to doing it again. I need you to pull up the profit mar margin for them shoes. I ain't seen nobody buy them. What, Kyrie Irving? Them yeah. Kyrie Irvings? Dude, they buying them, Jank. Okay, them that tells, cookies, them, that tells us that you did not watch college or high school, school or middle school I basketball. I ain't nobody wearing them damn butter cookies. Nah, hey, Jatan, he don't got a turtleneck on. He got a fishing neck on. Let me put my phone that's, on. I think so that's Kevin, a gator. When the last time you been to a high school game, man? Due to the violence in Jacksonville, I did not sleep <laughs> with those. Okay, I don't. I'm like like you. Violence don't scare me, but I've been to high school games in in Florida. I I go home in Memphis. I go to high school games. Kyrie Irving's shoes with him and Kevin Durant, they're like one of the top shoes that all of the high school and AAU and all of them are wearing. So just because a grown man like you don't want to wear them, what makes you think that somebody else? Yeah, that's true. I do right, want to talk about me. this, though, not to cut you off because you can't answer this with some mumbo-jumbo. Yeah. I do want to talk about NC State's uh, football playing big man that's giving people hell, DJ Burns. What are your thoughts about that old-school man, my jamma, playing? Ooh. He look like you with a kick I like it. I like, I mean, it. I like it. You mean Zebo? Baby Zebo? Yeah, no, nah, he like no damn baby Zebo nothing. He, he baby Anthony Mason. But he's uh, bigger. Him, him, him and Zebo play the same style. They, they both can't jump off the ground. Yeah. They'll give you buckets. Nah, man. Zebo won't play a point for it. I like the, I'm talking about the way that he plays uh, on the game. box. Yeah. No, but block. you know, he get the ball at the wing. And then he back you down. He'll yeah. back you down from that wing, though. But see, that that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, look okay. at them John Morans. You ain't even know that, did you, boy? Let me, let me see that. Them John Morant's clean, bro. Like, man, they like KDs, man. Them okay, joints that, is clean right there. That extra ankle support. Got oh, these joints from my girl. Yeah, them joints clean. I like the pink ones too. The 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 fuchsia. 
Yeah, you talking about shoes and shit, nigga. Nah. Hey. Nah. He don't, he don't have he said, no he said, hold on, said, nah, can you hear me, those, man? I hear you. What up? Said so earlier. Zar was talking about men calling uh, their girls bruhs or women calling each other bruh. And I told him men call each other bitch all the time. Don't don't you agree with that? That men are call each other bitches. <laughs> Look at look at God. Look at God. Phone breaking up. Look at God. And we can't hear you, Sid. Hold on, what are you saying? Look at God. Nah. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll, we'll get Sid some time to get, get back. But, uh, but shout out to NC State. Those shoes are all right, man, but the Nike campaign, bro, trash. Can you hear me? Go ahead. Oh, there you go. He it was God Fearing's background. That's what it was. Nah, I was saying, bro. If it's a chick that I'm fucking and she called me, bro, it's a wrap. I don't go for that shit. Thank you. <laughs> I don't. See? Oh, no, I understand that because if you call her a bitch, it should be a wrap for you. But I'm saying, like, when two men talking to each other, because I said, oh. Sarah call a dude a bitch quick. He'd be like, I ain't never heard Sarah do that. I'm like, what? Why are you trying to get him to call me a bitch? No. <laughs> Oh, I'll, 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 you say, right, come on, man. Don't be an evil gremlin today, bro. <laughs> Don't be an evil gremlin today, bro. Why you get defensive? Because you know he called you. We one. having a good, no, clean no, no, no. show. We having a good, clean show. Yeah, I'm going to be real with you. We as men, we always talk to each other with a level of violence behind our words. Yeah. But think about that. <clears throat> so when I call you a bitch, I'm ready to fight. That's on my end. All right, that's what we're gonna leave that at. So, that. so Kevin wasn't ready to fight when you called him. Just a side no, I don't want to do this. I want to get back to NC State though, because I want to talk about <laughs> NC State. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you know, like the first team, the first team, the men's side. So the men's and women's NC State Wolfpack, they both are in the Final Four. Salute to the program. That's that's dope right there, men and women. The men's side was free throws away for not even making the damn tournament. So salute to UVA for allowing them to prosper <laughs> and not making those free throws. So there you go, Zara. We good for some, right? Yeah, but oh, so if, if big dude make it to the NBA, yeah. you don't think he'll give Joker all he want? Man, Joker will punish that little dude. You think so? Yes. I don't know. Joker would punish him. Yeah, and Joker's a fan of his. Joker uh, did a press conference and they asked him about it. He said he really liked watching him play because he oh, could facilitate as a big. That's what's up. But you'll yeah. see his big ass trying to dribble down the floor, right? Hey, man, he could. I'm yeah. trying to be nice. There we go. You'll see his big ass trying to dribble down the floor and cross. Yeah, have you up. seen him run down the court at the at the uh, a rebound? Yeah, he had to wait. Yeah, don't get out of his way, man. Hey, but he nice though. Yeah, he reminds me. He reminds me of myself. The, the reason why I enjoy players like that, they know what they can do and they stick to it. Yep. And he I a great passer. Game. His court, his court vision top tier. You think he's going to the league? No. <laughs> he'll be in the team. He'll be in the I mean, league. but this playoff run is uh, help him be a two way player. Oh, yeah, he'll, yeah, he'll, he'll be definitely be a two. I think. I think. I think. How he's performing on the big stage. Workout wise, it just depends on you know they feel like he need like if they say Zion the need to lose weight, then he need to lose weight. But at the end of the day, you play to the weight that you're comfortable in. Like I don't want to like I hate saying somebody can't make it because it's like I'm hating. So let me let me let me let me retract that. I don't know what the percentage is, but I think he can play professional basketball. So whether it's overseas or in the G League. I think a- he's going to have to – I mean, I, when I say this, I'm not criticizing. I think he's going to have to reshape his body because Jokic is established. So his body and the way he moved like the sloths, hey. But even, Joker, jo- even Joker had to re- uh, speak to what you're saying. He had to change his body. Go ahead. Yeah. So he's gonna have to re- he's gonna have to uh, reshape his body, and he's gonna have to be able to prove that he can keep up with the pace of an NBA game. Yeah, because, yeah, that's um, my point. It, yeah, because like how he now gets to just stand around the paint on defense, 
he do that if he wants to. And Joker's out there is now seven for seven from three point range because he failed to come out and get on. So he's gonna have to reshape his body and adjust to the speed and show that he can move his feet around the perimeter also and not just only in the paint. Oliver Miller 2.0, if not. Oh, his thing, play, his, he his, played his, in the era when everybody was playing on the block, though. You can't. Yeah, here's the thing about DJ Burns, because I noticed this when UVA played it, and this is speaking to what we were saying earlier, Zaw, that I got kind of irritated about, like, even though I know that's not our game. When he was in the game and he was giving us fits and we had minor one-on-one -on, -one on him and we wasn't going to send a double team because we'd rather you, you know, make the two versus possibly kicking it out to a three-point shooter or made baskets, we got to run because he's he was always last. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you got a five on four. Like, if he's in the game, if he makes a bucket or if anybody make a bucket, we got to we got to take a sprint out of him. We got to push it. We got to go. So they, like he was saying with the NBA game made buckets, they push it. They they run the gun, like especially like somebody like Golden State. They catch it mm -hmm. and run. Yeah, uh, Sacramento, they catch it and run. That's why it was always good for Westbrook. And many people say he was padding stats, and I, you know, I know I love to get Westbrook love in some type of uh, fashion. Yeah. When Westbrook would get the rebound, it was it's better for your point guard to get the defensive rebound because he could just go and push it. It's one less exchange, one less pass. Yeah. So with with him, the biggest adjustment, especially in the G League, because the G League played faster than the NBA. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be his biggest hurdle is he gonna have to fucking run. Great court vision. Can he show he got a mid-range game, consistently hit mid-range jumpers or the three ball? Like, if he could show he could hit the three ball, like, in the corner, if he could, you know, establish that, he could find ways of – because he's a menace. Ain't nobody going to check him on the block by themselves. Like, he crafty. You know what I'm well, saying? It, it, it depends, bro. Like, it depends on the team need, too, though, man, because you got – what, what team is right now defensively strong in the NBA? Boston. Yep, Boston. Um, uh, surprisingly, we're well, not surprisingly, but the Lakers. What? He go. Oh, we gotta do that. I knew his ass not, couldn't go. Not, I knew he couldn't be an analyst. He had to throw in his team. No, you no, you Lakers, can't Lakers, stop with the homer. Lakers, Lakers are actually top. One of the top, uh, top teams defensively. Do see uh, Sacramento play good defense? No, I don't know. Uh, OKC play good defense. Oh, the Bucks? Nah, the Bucks don't. No, nah, they did. But well, no, they um, I think OKC. I thought I saw the other night. OKC is like they was like in the top five in the league. Yeah, and they're top. They're top. They're top. Five. Okay, see, I was right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So do y'all not did not did not throw a curveball at y'all? So SGA should be the MVP because of how OKC playing this year and because he's second in the league in scoring. Well, this is, I'm glad you asked that because I have a question about that. I tell people, I said, why does the terms for MVP change mm -hmm. yearly? It never seeming it like, hey, this is what MVP is. It's like someone well, else, it, like let's say somebody else wins it last year. Somebody else comes along and do the same thing. It's like, well, he's not good at such and such, so we're going to give it to him. But it's like, well, wait, he just did the same exact thing. I don't like that about the MVP. It, I like, it all, I like it that, all too. Depends, it all depends on what they're looking at. Like, for That's for all. Luka, for, for Luka I, say, I, I told my homeboy who was a Mavs fan, I said Luka would have to finish top four or five while averaging what he's averaging right now. And right now, the Mavs are currently fifth. And so I'm like, that, that's, that it gives Luca a better chance. Now, um, SGA and Joker, they're going to be tough to, to get out that conversation because they're flip-flopping one and two in the West. So it, it's going to be kind of hard. And also, like I said earlier, Luca's not really liked by the media too much. He's never been a media guy. So because he's so he not getting a media treated like guy, Charles Haley out here. Yeah. Yeah, they gonna they gonna they go like Barry Bonds. They, they treat him like he gets treated like Barry Bonds in the media. So they're starting to come around on Luca now, and it's the fact that the injuries that that Dallas have have dealt with, um, whether it be Kyrie out, X them out, um, you know they lively they they lively's been out for a number of games, but Luca's been putting up the same numbers consistently. Um, it's just they had to get out of that plan and, and top four or five. So 
you know, you can make a strong case for Luca at this point, but I do think that it'll be. I, I put I bet twenty on uh, SGA winning this year. So that's right. my take on that. It is a shame because I think Joker won when Joker won his first MVP. What 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 seed was them that year? Fifth or sixth? Uh, I want to say they might have been like fourth or fifth. They they were in the you know the middle of the pack. I think they were like top four or five, something like that. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, that's a good point about Luca, though. You know, I think he's gonna be a good player. That's a good point about Luca, though. You know, I mean, Luca averaging. What thirty three nine and nine or thirty three nine and eight something like that? They all oh on a run God. right now to where they they do have a fifth seed. They fighting with the Suns. They fighting with uh Sacramento, and then I know the Lakers and Golden State. And you know what's crazy? Houston was like on a 10, 11 game winning streak until the Mavs beat them. But Golden State just keep winning that one more game to keep them above, <laughs> above them. I kept, I'm out to win $20 on that, too, because I kept telling my homeboy, he said, oh, watch out for you. So I'm like, Golden State's not going to lose the fifth spot. And we put 20 on the it. The Lakers so. might lose that spot, then. Nah. That's not, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go that. So, so, here's, so, here's, so here's the thing, right? So yeah. Like, for real, here's the, here's the thing. So the Pelicans, the Mavs, the Suns, no, the Pelicans, Mavs, and the Kings are all within, I believe, a game, a or, game, game or two. And a half. Half yeah. a game to a game and a half of each other. That's a fact. Um, Phoenix is right behind them, and the Lakers are a game or I think two games behind the Suns. Let's see so right now. So realistically, a, a, a three to four game swing from any team could put them down uh, between eight and six, between uh, so, seven and nine. So it's a four game difference between Minnesota and the Clippers, three and four. Then you got Dallas with 29 losses. Clippers got 27, so it's 45-29, 45-29. That's Dallas and New Orleans, fifth and sixth spot. And then right under that with the playing at number seven is Sacramento, who Dallas just beat back-to-back. Um, they got 31 losses. The Suns got the same record, 43-31. and 31. The Lakers, 42-33. and 33. Golden State, 40-34. and 34. And then the Rockets, 38-36. and 36. So, um. And the Rockets are nine and one in their last ten, just like Dallas yeah. are nine and one in their last ten. That's crazy. Everybody got winning records. That's making that playoff push. The Lakers seven and three, Golden State six and four, the Suns six and four, Sacramento six and four, New Orleans six and four, Dallas nine and one, Clippers six and four, Minnesota seven and three, Denver seven and three, OKC seven and three, all in the last ten. So it's gonna come, it's gonna come down to the wire, man. Definitely is, man. But before I let y'all out of here, man, uh, who you got winning tonight advances to the final four between the four teams that's playing. If you don't know, uh, first up, we got Caitlin Clark and Iowa versus LSU, the defending champs, Angela Reese and Flo. And that's at seven. Who y'all got winning that game? I won't go LSU that you and, and UConn. I so we got LSU. LSU. Got you got UConn beating um South Carolina, see No, 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 no. They playing, they playing USC, the other, the real USC, the real West Coast USC. USC, Southern California with Juju Watkins. And I got, I got Juju and them pulling it out against you, against uh Paige Beckers and uh and and UConn. Paige buckets. It's only a, it's only a two uh. They're only two point underdogs, both LSU and USC. They got them at three and a half now. Three and a half now? Yeah. It was, yeah. It was, it was one and a half last night, and then uh, two. And Rocky, two, uh, the fans I'm hearing from are not happy about. On ESPN, anyway. That's what they got. USC and um, and UConn. Because the winners of these game, or this, or these two games, play each other in the final four. My man Jatan got Iowa and UConn. Yo, that's crazy, man. That did, you, did y'all think Angela Reese should have made first team All American, or was the girl from Stanford really had a better season than her? Uh, uh, the girl from Stanford had a had a better season than her. She did. Well, when you say better season, Angel Angel was a bit inconsistent throughout the season, and she and she knows that. 
she knows that. A lot of people, everybody knows she was very inconsistent. She was, she wasn't as consistent as she was last year. Okay, well, I was gonna say this. I wasn't gonna going it like that. I just didn't understand why they had four guards. <laughs> you know, yeah. I was like, what? I said, Doggo, Juju, all of my guards. Yeah, all four of my guards. And Caitlin, I mean, why? How? How could you not have those those four as first team All Americans? Okay, but then if you're gonna go by that, then I say it's some. Uh, I don't know. That's that's a good point. It's four <laughs> guards. But I but I think they're I think they're going the basketball route and going positionless. Because that's so will we ever see an All American team or an All NBA team with no big man? Not a first team. Well, not, is not, it really? So is it I really mean, positionless if you gonna always include yeah. a big man though? Yeah. I mean, what I say, what I mean by that, because just like how they did in the NBA, instead of going traditional guard, guard, forward, forward, center, mm-hmm. they're just going by whatever position you play. That's what you play, but you're still first. You're still uh, NBA All NBA first team. That's what the NBA did, so that uh, you know they don't have that discussion like they did a couple years ago. Whereas, is, is Joker is, is Jokic first team All NBA or is uh, and be first team All NBA, so now they can just say Joker and Embiid are first team All NBA, even though they both play the same position. Okay, but that's what we were just. That basically is kind of like what we we're saying. They put yeah, four guards. Auto people feelings like that, huh? Did they just coddling people feelings like that? Uh, well, we know, but. <laughs> I mean, Reese did have a down year compared to last year. Last year, twenty three and fifteen. This year, eighteen and thirteen. Yeah, she 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 had a down. Okay, year. but wait, wait, wait. You said she did what, Amon? She averaged eighteen and thirteen this year. All right, and the girl who got ahead of her was averaging seventeen and eleven. Oh hell no! Nah. What the hell going on? <laughs> so that's that's why I was like, I felt like they did it on purpose. They did. I don't know if it's because of. The negativity that everybody's throwing her way is why they didn't want her on there. But that's why I was like, how did you put four guards? And Angel Reese has basically, yeah, she went down a little bit, but she's still performing. So how is it? Yeah, I didn't understand that. Mm. Uh, you just swayed me with that one. Okay. Damn. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. What was Shorty from Stanford numbers? Uh, 17 and 11. Jeez, and Angel Reese only played 31 minutes a game. Her minutes even went down. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And she don't shoot the ball that much. <laughs> she's just when she gets her shot, she's efficient. <laughs> Let me see how many shot attempts she Did took. The free throw, uh, free throw line a lot. Uh her free throw percentage went up. No, she took one less free throw this year. One less. Yep, she took two less shots this year. Last year she averaged 15. This year she averaged 13 shots. I mean, she did shoot worse from the field. Last year she shot 52. This year she shot 47. Eh. Uh, yeah. I'm looking, I'm looking at Cameron Brink's stats. It's part of the expectations too you got for her. You gonna move the fence when your expectations. But move, you know. but, but wait, move the fence when the person surpassed <laughs> where you had the fifth at. Not because the person. I'm just got saying, like the shorty, from, maybe the shorty from Stanford had a better season than they anticipated, so that's why they elevated her. So to one. So wait, 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 wait. So we're just looking at points, right? Because Cameron Brink also averaged three point seven blocks. A game. Mm, okay. Okay. So we can't just look at points and and rebounds. I get that's part of it, but Cameron Brink was more of a defensive. Uh, she had she was better defensively uh, than uh, wait, Angel Reese. Wait. Okay, but wait, wait, wait. Just because, just because she had because averaged, she averaged more, more blocks more doesn't mean that she was better, better defensively. defensively. I mean, if you were the tallest person on the, everyone, I right, instance, every time you're, uh, you have, she, when we were playing she, she, growing she's up, only, she, she's only two inches taller than 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 Angel Reese. Angel Reese is six two. Cameron Brink is six four. Okay, so again, so when <laughs> when we grew up, 
and someone was tall and we played basketball, what did we automatically make the tall person do? You stay in the paint, you 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 block shots, you rebound nobody. So that's if you're the tallest person, you're expected for those to happen all the time. That you should be leading in block shots and you should be leading in rebounds. Hmm. So you can't say, okay, well, she averaged this. It's like, all right, cool. Well, if you out there the tallest person most of the time, yeah, I expect you to do that. So that kind of goes to the point of Cameron Brink having almost four blocks a game um, to how many Angel Reese had per game? 1.7. It was better than last year. But I would expect her. I would want to expect her to lead in more blocks if she's 6'4". So, and we're not even so counting so, so, so count so when she so, does her wingspan. So so one one point less. Oh, my bad. She averaged 0. .9. She didn't average any – she averaged 0.9 blocks a game so, this year. So, so one point less, give or take one or two rebounds less, but averages uh, almost three less more blocks. blocks a game. How many steals she averaged? Okay, so uh, Angel almost Angel averaged almost two steals a game. Cameron was at one. So you tell me that one difference tells me that Angel is better at passing playing passing lanes than and how many assists? Uh Angel had two point three. How about the other shorty? Uh what's she had? Cameron uh, two point eight. Two point eight. Okay. And then I I'm pretty sure the other girl shot better from the field. Uh, uh, she shot fifty-one. Yep. Fifty. No. So Angel uh, only shot forty-seven. All right. They was they were pulling I get, hairs. I, I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, Mike. I, I get the argument, but like I said, I think the blocks is kind of what put her over Angel. Everything else is you. You can you can pick with a fine tooth comb, but it's the blocks. Like I get she, she's she's six four. She's supposed to. Get those. Uh, get how many rebounds he averaged? 11. 11.9. 11. Right. And then points she averaged 15. 17.4. Yeah. yeah, okay. So, yeah, it ain't a big difference in the other ones like it is yeah, for the it's blocks. Not, it's not, that's not All that right. much of a big difference. Yeah. All right. That makes sense. It makes sense. But I got I got I got LSU and, and USC USC just because I'm a USC fan and I'm gonna always pick USC. Um, but LSU <laughs> LSU I, I'm picking LSU. Um, it's gonna be a close one because I do think Caitlin has that taste of losing to them last year, and yeah. she doesn't. And and I think she's gonna try to beat them, but I think LSU pulls it out. I even think though they're. I think Fly J going to step up this game, man. Again. Yeah, Fly J stepped the last game. You know who need to step up? Van Haley Van Lith need to step yeah. her step her game up. God damn it! Well, she doesn't need to handle. She doesn't need to handle the ball because she yes. has the ball over too much. Yes, she. I need. I need, I need that sh- that shot I seen last year when she was in Louisville. God damn, I need that. With and she wasn't the point guard in Louisville. That's why I don't understand why they got her handling the ball so much at LSU. So, with a real so Haley, so, please stand so up. When, so when Tier. Uh, Pua got hurt. That's why she had to handle the ball. When when Pua got, I think when Pua got that concussion, she she was she had to be the primary ball handler. Um, cause they, uh, I don't think they had anybody else at that point. Ah, uh, that freshman game. I mean, well, the freshman just a score though. Uh, Williams, she's just a bucket getter. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so picture this though. If Caitlin, so think about this, bro. Caitlin going to be God tier if this happened. She beat LSU tonight. She beat UConn or USC the next game and then play another the other USC in South Carolina and beat them. If she, these next three games, she win, God tier forever. I'm talking about immortalized. It's not going to happen, though. Bro, I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> no, no, hey, I'm telling I you, get what you say. <laughs> that shit gonna be crazy. That gauntlet, she just I mean, this gauntlet right here. Yeah, yeah that's a that's a good that's a that that whole bracket up that whole that whole side of the bracket is nothing but a gauntlet. God. Or oh, if Juju beat Paige Buckets and UConn and then beat a LSU or 
Caitlin and then beat Don Staley in USC or NC State because NC State legit. They're from the ACC. But Juju will be a immortalized freshman like no other. I'm about to say, and mind you, we still She'd be got called Juju Mello. For, and mind you, we still got Juju for another two to three years. Another maybe, three. maybe oh, yeah, another two, another two, yeah, another two, maybe, maybe. another two maybe. to three years. That's crazy. Like, like the uh, the girl from uh, Iowa State, Audie Crooks. Yeah, girl from Notre Dame, just a freshman. Dog, Hannah, you know, dog was just a freshman. Um, old girl from Texas was a, was a uh, she just a freshman? Texas. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, it's like it's so much, and I think that's why women's basketball. College is so much more intriguing because any of these girls run this gauntlet with no, they ain't giving no girl from US uh, South Carolina any legendary praise like these other ones. You know what oh, I'm saying? Nah. The team that's the one that's the only team they'll talk about is South Carolina. They'll talk about Don, even though that little young freshman that caught the bench that signed with Steph. Yeah. She Benny Johnson. Yeah. I call her Benny Johnson. <laughs> um, but yeah, because if Paige, if Paige beat Juju and then beat Caitlin, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Paul? Like they're gonna they're gonna say the Gamecocks are a team, legendary team, went undefeated first since UConn a couple of years ago, all that good stuff. But they got the individual storyline for everybody facing them. You feel what I'm saying? Like you're an individual when it comes to them. And and for last thing before we close the show, WNBA. If you ain't paying attention, pay your motherfucking ass attention and look at what's happening in women's college basketball. Create narrative and storylines. You got to do the shit or ain't nobody going to watch your shit. I watch it because I'm a girl dad. But if you want more eyes, you got to create storylines. WWE, go holler at Vince McMahon and Triple H and them and The Rock and them and get some goddamn storylines. Create some rivalries. Create some bad blood. It is what it is. Y'all ain't got to really hate each other, but appear to hate each other. Because people love drama. That's well, why they we, watch the women well, game. We, we need we need Caitlin. Well, we need Angel Reese to uh to um declare for the draft this year. She, she's heard. a senior. She has to. Nah, she got not, one more. She, she got, got the COVID year. year. Oh, okay. So yeah, we need if 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 we're gonna if we're gonna have that, uh we, we need they need uh Reese to declare. Yeah, well, they're gonna have to pay them. Uh, 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 Reese, K- KO ass at WNBA, bro. Don't listen to nobody. Oh, she can make more money staying in college. No, she'll make more in the WNBA because all the NIL shit will follow you to the NBA. Why do people think NIL money stop when you stop. turn pro? Them same companies can still pay you as a pro. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So don't go, but hey, man, forget these classes. They already say you don't go to class. They said you was <laughs> pregnant, all that. And you getting the middle finger. Hey, before y'all go, are you, um, I know we're talking about top girls, but she didn't really get that much hype um, this year because, uh, you know, Florida, uh, she played at Florida State, Latson. Uh, yeah, she's nice. From Miami. Yep. Average, she averaged 5'8", 21 <laughs> a game. Hey, shout out to, uh, oh my God, the third leading scorer of all time, the shorty that played for Syracuse. Um, oh, she good, too. I what's her name? Um, I want to say her name. Um, because I don't want folks coming at me. Because Angela Louise shouted her out. Uh, Fair last name is Fair. Yeah. So is she related to Fair that played at Syracuse, man? Remember, know, uh, bro. But she the, the third all-time leading scorer. Salute to her. I wonder. If she, remember, it was a dude who played when Melo then was there. Had the last name Fair. He ended Wait, up. This is- it's a good question, Paul, because I talked about this in my last episode. Y'all check that out when I talked about the big three off and five million. Um, so Caitlin Clark stated, so here's one thing Caitlin said. She said a representative talks to the big three. She ain't talk to the big three. Um, second of all, she did say if she loses this game, she's going to write to the training for Team USA. And um, But as long as the big three season doesn't interfere with her WNBA season, get the bag, man. We all know why Ice Cube doing it. See the hot ticket. You ride yeah. the wave. Create your way, ride the wave. It's like I tell young athletes when it comes to NIL. Stop looking for schools to give you money. Create your way. Create oh. your social media following. Build your brand. Get your LLC. They'll find you because they everybody want to ride waves. Everybody surfers, silver surfers. Shout out to uh, Max B. Did you see what Kenya Martin said about her in the 303? 
Yeah, What's that? Up. He said she it's, like, it's one one step. Uh, uh, big three is right below prison ball. <laughs> Holla, 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 got to go. I right, said, but hey, that's that's the ball hawk show. Appreciate God, friend. Appreciate you, Mike. Appreciate said. Appreciate right, Czar. Appreciate my man, the white Vic. Everybody in the chat. X, hey, X app be going crazy. A hundred seventy people <laughs> in the live stream on the X app. Salute to you, man. YouTube, make sure y'all subscribe to the Ball Hawk Show podcast. We're building that podcast channel back up. We almost at 500 subscribers, so make sure you subscribe. Facebook, salute. Uh, April Fool's Day, but we ain't do no jokes because we ain't no fools, man. Y'all be easy. Zara was the joke today. Oh, yeah, Zara is the joke. All right, Mike. All right, God, All right. And uh, that's all I got for y'all today, man. Make sure you check out the ladies tonight. Uh, what time is it? 6.42. Got 15 minutes. Go get some wing ding. Go get you a little whopper with cheese. You know what I'm saying? Something to eat. And enjoy Iowa versus LSU. And then at 9 p.m., USC versus UConn, man. It's the Ball Hawk Show. Salute. Be great, man. Peace.